pace. If if Gru can set the pace, nobody can stay with him, and it does seem like that. We hear the desk talking about Kesnet. He's going to have to put up a show with the rest of the squad. Same thing for 100 Thieves, though. Suffering a loss just recently. Puts him down here in this bracket. And G2 just kind of ran circles around 100 Thieves right here. So we see this pistol round coming through, starting a little right slow there. towards B. And it's it's up to 100 Thieves as well to kind of create their pace. Nobody can get stuck playing the other team's game here yeah. in this match. If anything, the aggression definitely has to come out from crew. They have to come out swinging with a lot of confidence, leaving this through against 100 Thieves yeah. when they lost against Leviathan 2 to 13 in the last belt, the last time that crew played on this map of Icebox. And for the Thieves, I mean, it makes sense. It's a perma ban that they have to leave buying through so for 100 thieves they pretty much have the opportunity of winning this first map as first contact is here towards green everything's stopped for now but a triple swing out towards yellow allows crew to score first at least in a round yeah good ship on the melzer but you see crew moving together nice collective as they go now through mid to check you're gonna have one more rotate through spawn and kesnit eyes and ears on a is going to be able to make this call dash has not been used he's trying to re-swing a stop oh. the plant but cannot get the wingman down and on top of that loses his life this is a plant now for the thieves on the top of the a tower stop with the spray but it's going back and forth the flood back retake for crew he fighting on the top of the tower that's now a disadvantage eu once again already in the first round has to go in a clutch low health everywhere here and it's going to be painful for EU. See, so oh, oh my god, he, he has to hit. Shot for a hit, him. There's 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. left. He has to move it and try to pick it up. But now both enemies are wounded. Swing it through towards the back. Oh, and you can score that frag and get the Red Bull clutch and the pistol what for the thieves. There's like three bullets, but both of them were shot dancing it out there. Oh my god, that's the pressure we get out of the pistol round. We're ready for this series. EU does it again to come up with these clutches. So strong at the end of the rounds, you'll see that name over and over again. He does it on the fade, he does it on the Sova, it just plays the utility from the initiator so well in these clutch moments, and it always seems like he has a bit left too to offer. 100 Thieves get in the sight with still all that util up, so EU can use it to make sure they collect the round. Here in the second one, it's exactly the kind of pace 100 Thieves wanted. They even kind of caught Kesnit off guard as he left sight. So you can right see there. they caught crew off guard. They'll be ready for the next one here. Marshall rotating around the map for Keslin is strong sight A here for crew. Yeah, and it was a fast tempo for 100 Thieves to start. Initiator utility on both sides of the A nest just prevent crew from picking up the orb on the A site, which maybe could give him an advantage in the later rounds. But at least they have a stack. Four players here for crew towards this A site. Already a dash dispense though. Looks like they thought the re was going to be rotating back towards this B site and it gives an advantage for 100 Thieves to move in. Go for the plant. There is the wingman plant on top of that. Oof. Cryo stacking up some Blade Storm. That'll feel good. Get him going. It's kind of searching for a kill too as they look around for Mauser here bringing the frenzy. So pretty good money, Kesnit actually purchasing in here, so he'll be a little bit lower coming into the next round. Ooh, we do see the full save since he had a marshal here. And it's just a few more as EU <laughs> alt point, but death is now Cryo tries his hand. It's frenzy close range. Oh. This is still pretty good, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna melt down Cryo. Oh, what the hell? Lucio. Okay, Vandal now picked up. <laughs> they have to hunt it down now just to run that clock down. Bang! Finally takes Melzer down to his knees. They'll salvage the weapon, but that's some great damage on Melzer. Get absolutely destroyed by Melzer's frenzy. Frenzy. They're so happy to have done that much damage coming out of the round. We'll see what the buys are. Low armor there. Yeah, Hunter Thieves is going to easily try to go back into this with having a few other rifles. So Heat's not too worse for the wear from his buy previously on the Marshal. And man, putting that glitch pop to work. Nicely done. So how can they get this next round from the defensive side? Still going to focus on Kesnit in his rotations. Is one of the big ones here for crew. Has been a lot of the focus towards this B area. There's pressure on both ends. Defensive side for crew pushing out towards A. Hunter Thieves fighting for B main control. They've done so to start. Yep. But Kesnit, once again, you needed him to continue to initiate for these first blood attempts. Wins it against Cryo. It's now Aldrone pushing him forward and pushing him back as he gets pinged out. And options across the map too. They still have A being encroached into right now. They pulled per turret back or turret was just destroyed by Shy there in mid. But this lurk up by Bustio. 
still making it happen from series to series. Very important here for MTA, a player that's never played against 100 Thieves coming back here into the roster for crew. Great point. Al Drone is going to spot it. him. So great utility being utilized. And now they understand that Busio is inserted inside this A site in the pivot for 100 Thieves. And the attempt will be for a plant within this site. But Busio is still holding his ground for a bit. There's that double drop here from Shy and Heat covering up that site. Shy also coming in from the screens again for a second one in the there round. And EU at this point will not try to use any Hunter's Fury. Hasn't even been planted that spike inside the A site. This might left. be a save towards the end. And this is a great call for 100 Thieves and a great play for crew. Thanks to again that three kills that Melzer got with that frenzy on that previous round. It really nullified the economy here for yeah. 100 Thieves. This wasn't pretty much a bonus for the attack side. It was a full gun round. Exactly. Having to buy right back into it, which you see quite a bit in the Americas. Ten seconds left. Teams just kind of feel like they can go for the fight, have a little bit of money, feel like the low armor buy is okay, and will stave off whatever happens in the next few rounds of low economy. It's a choice, that's for sure. Two to one here. As that one goes to crew, nicely done on the reaction to what would happen uh, over at B. They didn't bite too much on what 100 Thieves was trying to put down. And like you said, MTA having the wherewithal to say, you know, we are against 100 Thieves. If they haven't hit the site yet, Bustio's got to be being a rat somewhere, and they find him with the drone almost instantly to make sure they can adapt to that defensive post plant. All right, walls up, B start again. Pretty much the same thing here for the side of 100 Thieves, as they do have a little bit of money still buy back in with low armor being a bit of their purchase last time. So yeah. flexing this money. But now we have some 100 credits, 150, 450. This is when it starts to matter and the economy being low. And that's where the Vandal matter that EU saved in that previous round to allow yeah. four rifles to come in. If not, that's another, maybe only three with two stingers. But yet, the pressure from under these, again, the game plan, trying to work towards this B main. A little bit slower than before, though. Trying to see if there was any knife that was going to come in early towards Garage. It was used towards the A side from Heat. There comes that push now at that minute mark. Really nobody contesting on either signs and very similar plan. Look at the A sign already. Bustio's trying to engage, trying to initiate. Yeah. Slowly towards this A sign. So we give a dart back. They've waited long enough. I mean, really haven't gained any space on the map. Mid's full watch right now by Shy. They have the ability to get out and protect Melzer here for a moment. And that Killjoy utility is ready to deny plant. So the more 100 Thieves wait, the harder this is going to be right here. They don't have an instant plant, and they're going to have to fish for Wingman if, if that's going to be the Molly death. This does not look good. There's a change of play. We have VU already going left. towards the A site, throwing a recon yeah, to sell a, a fake. fake. And Bustio goes for the lurk in mid instead to break the alarm bot. Doesn't really pull out any defenders from crew, though. They still have a lot of work behind this wall as Kesnit swings out for the first blood. Yet, 100 Thieves still mid it inside this B site with 13 seconds left. Kesnit still trying to anchor back towards B. There's that fight from Bustio that pays off in the end. And MTA trades it back. Shark Darts now ringing down. It does get the contact onto Cryo, but no kill. Heavily damaged, but EU's there for the save. It prevents Cryo from falling down. It allows 100 Thieves to get three. 100 Thieves knew that was going to be messy. You, they, the Molly was already going off, but Asuna had to throw Wingman into it. So it wasn't going to plant in the first place. They just had to go through the motions. They had to get everybody in sight. And at that point, Vans, you know you're overpowering the other team by numbers. 100 Thieves played it very close to the wire there, but knew they would be stronger as a team. That, it gets a little sketchy, but they pull around in their favor. Three alts there for 100 Thieves now. See if they try to pull something like that again as crew has to worry down to the last second of each round. No crowd starts them off immediately as MTA pushes. The amount of times that they tried to throw this knife towards the A side, 100 Thieves avoids it and then starts moving in right away, punishing the players taking control yeah. of the pipes. And that's a huge player down here for crew. That's no Silva utility to attempt for the retake. So they have to play within, within the site now for crew. Doubling up towards the back at Dice. Still playing a buddy system on that side. Perfect for one trade, but wall bent by EU. A side now open, only Shy is alone towards the back. Hit by the thrash, easy kill for Cryo. And this is gonna render difficult for Melzer once again. This time at least has a rifle to work with. Wingman goes for the plant. And all the players, they know they can play within the site. Play together, now spotted by the Dizzy. And this might be here just a call for the safer Melzer in the end. Seeing that nobody peeks out at the very beginning, no punishment that he could do. Now time is against him, and yes, indeed. The sign to fall back, and that's 100 Thieves. 
with a clean take towards the end. Yeah. You could even have Bustio Hunt here. I mean, he's on the grand. Everybody else is actually kind of broke, so don't have Bustio Hunt. The alt orb isn't worth it. They can easily grab one next round, and a nice play here by 100 Thieves, securing with alts the thrash through the site. Little parkour over Nest and 410 just to get shy, who was not expecting that to be on the top level. Let's see all the tricks that 100 Thieves can pull here. So right to a round, right after extending the round all the way to the last few seconds, they go for a pretty fast hit towards A. So really changing the pace back and forth on what crew has been able to see. And again, haven't gone mid yet for 100 Thieves here, so crew still has to be wary of that lurk as 100 Thieves are finding success at the sites already. Yeah. The great thing for 100 Thieves throughout this battle so far against crew is that they kept the economy very low for crew in these gun rounds that Kesnet cannot initiate with an operator. Mm -hmm. And when you're banking a lot on Silva utility, on the KO knife, and you're trying to push on the non-info that you're getting, you think it's safe and getting punished. So I'm pretty sure they want to get this off of ASAP. So they don't get caught off guard once again by 100 Thieves avoiding yeah. this initial utility. I'm, I'm really liking the, the gecko use for right side clear at B-Long instead of trying to drone garage and get in there. Nicely done. So they still have the drone as they go to the right side. More util to clear all these close spots and just get crew out of these crevices. 100 Thieves are not even afraid to get pinged by the recon dart thrown by MTA. They know they have the power of weapons. They know they have the power of cryo cells who opens it up. Kesnet, though, has managed to rotate across. He also getting a pit towards the screens. So 100 Thieves were trying to fight back towards the spun like Leviathan did against crew. They run down that clock. 100 Thieves cannot cross that line yet to move inside the A site for a plant. It's Bustio trying to move through, and with this plant, will allow the lockdown to get activated. Molly misses, but a double swing towards the back, and somehow it's turned in the favor of crew. On the lower by Blade Storm out. Kiss is now spotted. Bustio gets the headshot onto him. Swings on a second 19 HP left, and that's joy from behind for the execution. The buddy system pays off now for crew as they all start together to get the last kill and the second round on Icebox. You're not kidding. Look at the minimap all together as an understatement coming from that side. But they are still able to persevere. Just about how 100 Thieves took the site from the attack side last time. Power in numbers and trusting each other on the trades. It's going to have to come in spades here for both teams. A lot of elevation being played on this one, which is, I think, kept breaking the crosshairs. We're getting people tripped up. Man, big blade storm coming out by Kaznet there to cause trouble. Remember, that started at B, too. Right? They were pinging out as well. They saw Melzer, Kaznet over towards B, still go for the A hit again, and the rotation is there. Crew, don't let 100 Thieves get that far away. And now Kaznet has the off, so they're going to be right in his sight. You know, that changes the positioning of the initiators. You see now MTA set up towards Boiler playing behind here, the turret to try to punish and fight. Knife once again was thrown towards the A side, no contact, so that's an early rotate from crew. Four players now all the way towards this B site where under these they engage with some utility to start, but it's their turn to put it back towards the soft side. Good read and good call so far from the angel of Bustio. Yeah, this is one of the first times they're doing this flip, right? A lot of it's been the 4-1. Now, it's flipped for the 4-1-A to B. Bustio still, had, I think, just the edge of his turret in mid, obviously, to keep watching so 100 Thieves can focus on going forward in A. And crew still playing that buddy-buddy system right now. Initiators together to make sure that utility Ooh. comes in droves when they need it. So right now, there's a lot of ults available for crew. Hence why it looks like they want to play the post plan and the retake. But at the same time, the KO knife that was thrown towards B missed Bustio. So there's a window of opportunity for, once again, Bustio to lurk around. And with this pit, though, not allowing 100 Thieves to cross inside this A site, they're going to try to move back in. Probably an execution off the wall, but there's only 22 seconds left. This Nano Swarm that's currently posted up, sorry, by Shy, can do a lot of damage, and it looks like it got used. Dash now activated for Kesson in the back of the site. Offshot connects oh. to Bustio through the wall. Does get the hit. Plan still works out. 400 these as the fight goes back towards the B site. Austin looks back on her tube, sees another one that's heat the fall. Advantage back now for 100 these. Hunter's Fury available for the pulse plant. But he's actually stuck inside the site. That's EU. Now Asuna just got pinged out. MTA wins that 1v1, and there's that last one to go. Confirming it here. EU tucked in the corner.
Melzer moves on! Oh, what in the... The flick of craft for the headshot on EU! And Melzer gets the round out for crew. That was insane. Oh, heavily benefiting from a phantom in that situation, let me tell you. Getting in there, being able to get the, the, the first flick on the run, but then correct it. Holy moly, Mel's are on fire right now. Eight and four on the map. Comes up very big here to trade off of MTA at the uh, underneath the tube. And man, that was big. It, and looking with, with the way they came in, I thought Bustio was almost going to try to clear that distance to get the alt down right away towards Nest. But he gets taken out by Kesnet. And with Bustio going up towards the Nest, maybe that wasn't the play, but man, they got stopped really quick because they thought they had more space in the site. And now very, very, but they solidify around it, possibly still allows crew to buy, and they've had to use all their alts just to get through this. It's, oh man, it's a game of when to use the alts. Do they feel like they can just get through this eco with enough damage is the question. Kesnit to push up, they guard the orb on A, and already 100 Ds, they do try to push forward and see if they can get these sheriffs to go to work right away. Much faster pace to start for 100 Ds makes sense with the lower buy that they have and just trying to make sure that they could waste out this viper utility very early on the defensive side which is melzer and once they identify that here from crew and that they don't have that fuel both playing back now melzer and heat all the way towards snowman they want to use their weapons in the distance in their favor against the eco here the thieves are waiting for that second cycle for that second time the orb to go down yeah they're ready to play reactive right has the dizzy out if any peak did come through would help cryo but they get into position insert one on yellow now spread across the map still looks like bustio was able to dodge out on that dart just from mta towards the back side of a but they're already rotating to be there to meet hundred thieves bustio looks like he's gonna fall back and meet him yeah, with the rest of his to. teammates too but there's the hit inside males are in the back that's some great Five shots coming through as their support One there inside remaining. this B side. Shy holding it down from the bottom of the tube. There's only Bustio again left alone, but he was so far behind trying to find a pick towards that A side. And it almost feels like that recon art that was thrown forced him to run around and gave his position away. Why he had to fall Yeah, back. It probably you know, up there, uh, maybe dodging the, the arrow itself, but you still had that push from Kesnet, right? You're right, probably getting that confirmation that somebody was there and just one person, or the fact that the, the arrow didn't see anybody in the yeah. process of elimination, you're not getting rushed in a certain amount of time, get the rotation in. So, honestly, going forward, I want to see some mid play coming out here. I want to see attempt at mid, a little bit of pressure there, so crew has to worry about it, because right now, you have this rotation coming in from MTA, Kesnet, and Heat, and Kesnet will stay somewhere. Oh, Vamo! Big Vamo right now. <laughs> and then Heat and, Ke uh, Heat and MTA are rotating around again with that utility for Initiator, making sure no one's pushing, always having good info. And uh, they're on the right side of the map right now. They're in A. This combo, always together. And it doesn't seem like 100 Thieves can get an idea of what that combo is and how to break through it right now. Again, this is just without Bustio towards A. They go back to this garage patient hold. Slowly moving out. They're going to hold on to Wingman this time as they get through. They do have Thrash. Four alts here to come out. A Null Command really to you only shut run. that down. Okay. It's way too far to be able to use here. This Null Command was still towards the A side. So, yeah, the lockdown from the Thieves will allow to open up the B site. And the execution will come in for towards the B. But, man, the Null Command would not allow the Viper Wall to move up too. Asta is the first to fall. Hunter's Fury on the attack. Heat somehow gets a second one on the bank. Hunter's Fury finally trades it back onto Melzer. But still, 100 Thieves are at a disadvantage. 45 seconds left on the clock. Spike is down out in the open. Finally grouped up. But there's that flank coming out from Kesnet. This is a couple of shots. He used surviving for a bit and winning that fight. Now the Aljone, the KO swinging out. They have identification of the last few players. The crew are still towards the back of the site. Walking towards that back, a buddy system is not even there. It's EU going for the hero play. Now Heat, they definitely identified him when he swung out towards the snowman. He used solo on HP. Recon Art pings him out, 10 seconds left. They have to start committing now. And as he swings Ooh. out, there's Bustio waiting for him. And finally, 
100 Thieves get an answer back since their timeout. And it's Vance, it's coming from brute force. That's not, usually it's, it's clean, the protocols are hitting, you're like, oh my God, they're still pushing up. But no, 100 Thieves is taking these shots through the, the smoke. And yeah, you can say, oh, he got it luckily through the smoke. But if you think about it, lockdown went down, wall was waiting, wall was waiting, and wall Second. goes up, what's the opponent gonna do? Try to run out. So that spam is relatively easy to hit. It seems like these just are slightly half-baked, but great protocols to be running. They just have to realize crew is, it feels one step ahead of them almost each time. But 100 Thieves did get that round. We have to remember that. It's just looking a little brute forced. At least it gives a bit of confidence for 100 Thieves. That was a five versus two that was converted on it their does. side on the attack. All one here by EU and Busio together. Now towards A. And they going away from the lurk. Maybe that's what one of the, the timeout really came to, right? The Lurk really hasn't given us the information we want. All five members of 100 Thieves together since that comes in and the power has been working for them. They choose a very soft site here against Crew. Oh my God, they are booking it from B to A too as they realize this could be the play. It looks like we're gonna get an A scuffle. That's a dash activated. Dizzy hits him in the face and forced the fall back. Couldn't get a kill before he dashed. Now it will be a full team retake. Already Heat answering first on Tabusio. Going towards the back for more sprays. That's Cryo to fall to. Thrash at least available. Pit now locked down and put down by Bang. Thrash now being used to try to support wherever he can. Jumping on the top of 410. It's Kesdit getting the pickoff onto Bang and slowly but surely, Crew are about to close this on a flawless into Lawson. Now finally holds it towards the back, but you definitely see it here. Player sticking on to that spike and looks like 100 Thieves don't even want to fight it. Until finally Asuna swings out. It's too little too late. Too many numbers to fight against this time for 100 Thieves. And this time Crew was ready and will not let the advantage fall. Crew's map movement is nutty right now. Just the, the things they're considering, the way they're moving, and just off of, I feel like, that first bit of information. They're not having to second guess anything. The first time uh, they saw somebody mid, or saw the turret mid, and didn't see anything B, like, oh, that, that's an A play. Easy. It just seems like they are reading everything, and I'm sure Adam's very happy right now to see the sheep have turned into wolves for this game. And they are hungry, looking to try and bring this defensive half back into their favor on Crew's side. Kesnet, it's another blade storm from him, as they do push B this time. That knife is gonna get so much info. That actually tags three players towards the garage, and rendering Wingman too far out to be picked up here by Asuna. And if the delay is well enough, and you can't pick up the wingman, it's going to be difficult here for 100 Thieves to go for a plant in their yeah. eco, especially now that Busu has just fallen to heat at middle. It's a great call. Shy. Oh, it was Bob Flash for him to try to swing That's out, but he knows better. They knew the rotate was going back towards the A side, and he doesn't want to give up his life or the player advantage for crew. And they're already starting to match it. Right, number for number here. It's just going to be shy. It just bit off to the left side with Viper. That was ambitious there from Heat. Yeah. <laughs> Walking now. Now the updraft. Oh, ambition it's continues. Back yeah, it's a dagger fight. Now trying to go for the duck hunt play. Oh, no. But the dog is laughing. And the rest of crew as well as they shut down the rest of the push of 100 Thieves inside A. <laughs> Basically Last pull and just whiff, 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 whiff. <laughs> it happens. It happens in that the instant. Um, kind of executes these plays have to happen under. You can see is just sending everybody for a loop. Box. Get in the round so we can go to break. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Vandals across the board. Looks like they're trying to hit some headshots. Would you figure? 2-1-1, one, one, or 3-1-1, one, one, a little different here. From 100 Thieves, another push up and a hide by Kesnit. They're trying to bait this out that it's only Melzer. Oh, will they peek him? Oh, they will. <laughs> Flushing him out, taking him down, and a trade comes out for 100 Thieves. Well done to start. That's B control in their favor, and Booster realizing that he doesn't need to okay. lurk as much because the rest of 100 Thieves are doing their job now towards his B site and winning all of these fights. Yeah, where the hell was that for the past few rounds? This is what we saw from both of these teams in a lot of their previous games. Those step outs, the just 1v1 clears to open a site and wow the crowd. And now it has to happen again. 2v4 if crew want the 7 5. Wingman's planting. Just everything. <laughs> 
basic high low with the wingman utility or Geico utility. Spike and that plant does go down. Not enough. So this is going to render difficult now for the last two players of crew to retake this site towards B. Both of them grouped up and all spread out under these, getting ready for these trades. It's looking pretty good, though, to start for crew, but then Asuna okay. sweeps up the last two kills. It looked dominant to start as well for 100 Thieves that they had, what, a five-round lead? Sides. But we end this half 6-6. Six to six. It did take the timeouts for sure to come in and kind of organize things a very back-and-forth first half, and I don't think this is what we expected. I'm very glad this is what we got. You see it here, three players swinging out the fight for that utility to flush out their opponents. So 100 Thieves still having a lot of fight here going into this first half of Icebox. And now we'll switch sides here and resume right after. Absolutely, player and personal. And it's being huge here for the team as they can pull out those last few rounds to find the 6-6. Six, six. We're back on Icebox. Crew now on the attack side. Almost looking like we haven't switched as the 4-1 starts off here. And they start to work the map. A little push up though, so they do get the orb denial on to A. 100 Thieves is trying to get some early info in that position. Definitely feels like I'm casting this same pistol around. <laughs> At least this time, though, uh, Asuna is inserted up just around the orb of the A sign. So trying to listen for some information, trying to get a jiggle fight towards that sign. Prowl's watching the L while crew are looking to push and create some sort of pressure towards this sign. Ooh, good peek. That was Asuna good enough. Catches an eye. Ooh. Ooh, to catch the back of his head, too, through the wall. And also losing a player on the B side, so oh, this is what you wanted to see from the Thieves on the attack side. Push and pull and punishing players on the rotate. Kesset opening up with two kills on the B side and also allowing now crew to have a safe plan. The essence of the push and pull, right? Everybody rotates off. There's action at A, and that's when B peaks. Kesnet takes full advantage of those little peaks. Huge shots from the Sheriff here. And now two ghosts in a classic for a injured Asuna. Three. Kesnit, with that kill, allows for him to get another dash here. But really not trying to push forward to go for a fight. Yeah, there's a little bit of pop shots coming through, but this is looking pretty good for crew to seal the deal. He used solo, gets a dick long range, but once again, too many players to deal against, and crew answer it back with their own pistol Remember, in the second half. Weapon is only a tool. Very clean star, and already working a bit of the fake on the map, too. That's crazy for Kesnit to be able to pull that out solo in sight with a Sheriff is absolutely huge. They already have 100 Thieves on the back foot starting in the second half. I'm sure that's not the way they wanted to start, especially since you're at Ender. Kind of hearing those bit of stressful moments. Everything's going to just add more stress, especially when Kesnit's doing that. All right, second round. Proactive Thieves. It's exactly what you want to see from them here so they don't fall too far behind. Malzer's already going to start toying with mid, just putting that orb up and down to keep somebody watching it. It looks like we'll get a final B plant on this. Yobi's going to be on point here with the Sheriff because he stands alone with his turret. Timmy has fallen, good and now damage. it's only him. A reload, yes, definitely good damage under both Kesson and Shine. He's trying to hold it down even longer. But with that first pressure that came through, nobody rotating immediately for 100 Thieves. So this still opens up the site, though, for crew to go for a plant towards B. There's EU close, Shock Dark close. MTA just around the corner, moving up here with Melzer. They take down EU a double swing towards the top. Now this is a chance. Yes, they are. There is a player advantage for crew. But Kezin and Shy are still one shot away from this classic and sheriff available for Cryo and Asuna. Switch guns, keep the Bogdans going. High, low. Just using Kesnit as a shield right now, kinda. It's tough. It's great. There's a turret, an owl drone to yep. delay enough to get information. Recon Arn still pushes them back, and that potentially could be it right here. The last two players, 100 Thieves, maybe looking for a tap on the spike to flush out some players. And not even an opportunity to die to spike. MT picks up the two kills and builds up we are strong the Hunter's we are Fury together. at halfway. Forget that. Sheriff trading and picking up. Uh, we thought this would go towards B, and it, it was just about really clearing the site and getting in. Nice shot by crew to do so. They keep quite a few alive. Also keeping these Guardians going for a little bit lower buy, but still having a bonus round gun to go against 100 Thieves with. 
see... We did see MTA getting a few there. Still not too close to the ultimate. Keznit is closest as they break back to this 4-1. Obviously leaving Shy here to make sure there's no big push here if they're on orb, which they do, and a quick clear towards Garage, but Cryo. Exactly, the Owl Drone got shot and he's still there and available. Dash still available too. Investing heavily into this operator as the wall comes down. Not hit by the knife, still allowing for him to re-peek if he wants to. And Bang still holds his ground towards his green side. There's that shot, there's that spike, spike down. down Wow. It was a high risk, high reward here because Cryo went for the glass cannon. Three players now from crew trying to answer back. There's that shot miss, but oh. they coming out. Spike down. Run right on to two. Spike is down and gets it now. He has to play the hero, but he gets dropped by Cryo. And that's 100 Thieves getting their gun round. That was some disgusting protection for Cryo right there. Bang on VIP protector duty. Perfectly times that push. And Cryo knew it as well. Didn't go for the second peak, just wanted one, and they threw the smokes down to create the chaos. Great job over at A site. And I, I actually, like you said high risk, high reward, and it really is high risk. Because if you're peeking that close, you're almost alerting the enemy that someone else is here with me. I'm not just going to jump alone and get taken out because I'm giving away my audio. So Cryo to get that peek, it almost feels too easy for him. The trust is there. The yeah. knife, though. Nobody's shooting at the start. So there you go. Kirayo can't not retreat or, uh, at all. Yeah. But is still there with Bang. Or up now down to push forward. Oh, they did get the ping with the recon dart, but crew are still better in the duels for this round. You see too many options. You just eyes light up and you want to go for all of them. Even the first one's tough. They start to back up. And now it's just going to be this rotation along the map. They're just trying to get both EU and Asana out of a good position. So sight is cruise, and that's what's going to happen. So very quick to always go for this fight towards this side of B. They've been running the 4-1 constantly over and over here for crew. Even the first few rounds is just consi uh, consistent on that. And they like the way it starts to spread 100 Thieves here. Ooh, that's a good shot. That so spike that's down. spike down. Oh. That's an opportunity, especially now that they have the thrash. Al Jones then try to clear clear out towards the A site. Thirty seconds left. We'll get vision and visibility onto two players and pinging one, allowing you to swing it off. Just behind for the trades. Deja vu, but for hundred tier about A site. Oh my gosh. The absolute crossfires and setups to finalize these rounds for 100 Thieves on the last few have been incredible. Right place, right time is the only thing you can say. But yeah, the aim's got to be there too, sure. And yeah, at crew have been doing so much damage at B. It's basically been a game of 100 Thieves trying to figure out how to recuperate and be able to work the rest of the map with then what they have left. We'll see if it happens again. Oh, it goes towards A. And they're actually going to switch it up a little bit too on the side of 100 Thieves. So they're reading this tonight. They couldn't perform how much they almost look lost yeah. in their in their last match. This is this is life put back into them, I think. Life goes back here into the round. As it was a quick audio pause yeah, now fixed way. up. And yeah. Rue looking to push very quickly towards this A side with the Blade Storm from Kezda. Drop and denied immediately by Asuna. Slow. Drone obviously going to temper things just a little bit. And a good, already a big push here by Bang. If they can hold crew here, this is going to be big. And they're definitely doing so. Weapons are too good. Yes, Libert for a couple of shots at the beginning. But in the end, a sealed deal and a flawless for 100 Thieves to continue to build the economy. Definitely held crew there. Like you said, flawless. And this is going to start feeling very comfortable for 100 Thieves. The economy means that with the momentum they have, the confidence in the fights that they've been taking, maybe they take some extra fights, maybe they go a little crazy here and put somebody outside the box. Great stop up here, and that is going to force the hand of crew to hit the big red button. Good tag, by the way, on him. I killed him. There's me a crew tag. Pause for the cause as they get a few words of wisdom here to the side of crew. I mean, really not too much of a low buy, just that outlaw floating around here. Unfortunately, Heat's the only one that would find an instant death from that. And 100 Thieves mine, so. Let's see how they avoid it or take a fight to it. 
they are very, very big on making sure nobody has this area. Obviously free or, but knowing nobody is B-Long just allows you to focus on that mid-kitchen. That's huge, and though. A. Hunter Shura coming out from Boiler all the way towards main. A ping onto one player. That's okay. MTA. Orb now picked up. Null come in available. This is a dangerous pivot back towards a side, though, because Gusio's post up, uh, post up, rather, with the outlaw. Skirting around. That orb is deep. And like we said, it had to be heat, right? He's the only one with the low armor. And it wasn't a headshot. So now Null Command's gonna have so much more priority and agency over A site being a little tighter here. Nobody can hide in the back like you could in B. And there it is. Oh, at least there's a contact onto Kesnit with that outlaw. So he's down to 10 HP. Him dashing across is not gonna be as effective. He needs more utility to help with. And as soon as he crossed the line, over the wall, Krell drops heat. Now they're trying to reset Asna winning that fight against Melzer. And as they try to cross over to get the res up there onto the KO, Meteor Retire swings out to simultaneously drop crew and give the lead for 100 Thieves by two. Damn, what a read by 100 Thieves. Not even being affected by the Null Command, really, because it's not going to affect your aim, and that's all 100 Thieves needed to do when they found the open shots. And that was a big one. The crowd is going right now for Cryo. And yeah, putting up some big, big frags here. And look at that. <laughs> Let's go. Not, not really surprised, but they're like, all right, yeah, that was clean. You can see it on their faces. They're liking the way the game is going right now. 100 Thieves are. Quick zero point out the pipes, and we get a little more pace here out of crew now. Quick drone into sight. Everything's been starting at B here, but they get right to the front door of A and start it off. They're hoping to just get picks out of this. There's still so many players that were lurking around towards middle and B side for crew. No opportunities to get the pick behind the Owl drone on the attack side of crew, and they're going to have to reset. And yeah, it, you're seeing the calls coming out here from 100 Thieves where you see on the player cams these rounds that they get. They're very vocal about them, but this was never going to be an easy game for 100 Thieves against crew. This was mentioned now in these post-game interviews from the Thieves signs. Ooh, that's kind of what Shy wanted. Wanted to be seen just a second. Actually gets the Thrash ultimate. That's obviously going to check, but they're still ready. So is crew. Lots of bodies out on that side, and that's Cryo, though. Outlaw going to work. Now with the Blade Storm right on to Kesdin. Not given a chance now for Shy to get anything done. Even not a chance to set up. Cryo's starting to feel it in the last few rounds. Why, old <laughs> Cryo? The Blade Storm sitting down four members of Crew Visa. And Adam's gonna call a timeout after that one. They need to get some of these last rounds. Oh. One enemy remaining. It was almost almost important that they win last round and had the outlaw still, because then it paid off even more. That's a real return on investment. When you go for the long line, leverage these ults to salvage a round and give a chance for crew to continue to fight against 100 Thieves on the Thieves' map pick. No All right. Deployed. Knife out. Quick check. One yeah, surprise. just bang. So they actually have to consider, do we have a jet here to worry about? They still want the space, though, and they give it to Kesnet. They'll have Nano Utility to deal with the one aside our crew. And there goes Kesnet pushing forward, and bang, does win that fight. And that spike once again dropped, meanwhile, by Heat, just at the entrance of the B-site. Delays being pulled out from the Poison Orb up on the side of the Thieves, not giving a chance for crew to salvage a spike and fall back. So they're pretty much pinned. They have no choice but to fight. Orb now up. One it isolates a couple remaining. of players. The one that was inside Both the smoke enough. couldn't help out. That's Melzer on the top as his teammates fall by the hands once again of the defense of the Thieves. <laughs> High, low, and distant. Going up. Impossible. Boy with them, yeah. What do you really do at this point? Nothing. Nah, you can save. We'll see. Nope. <laughs> Stop for a moment. Melzer was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're good. Nope. Nope. Cryo gets it. 12 to 8 for 100 Thieves. And that was not around it.
they can get the alt used on. They felt yeah. comfortable doing it. They wanted to. They wanted to. But we didn't see any coming out of crew. And the finisher. They definitely wanted to as well, because look at this buy right now that's coming out from crew. Four guardians, one vandal, <laughs> far away from the blade storms, nothing to really help here. <laughs> And that's so, so neat with. that they actually have an outlaw on this round two, and Bang's gonna meet everybody with low armor first. He can just wreak havoc, trying to hide. Look at this early rotate. You already see EU looks like he was heading towards Boiler to try to do the same, to try to fight here and try to uh, cut the rotate, but instead decides to fall back within the A site where Cryo is posted up the same position as before. That was not noted by Crew because they had no yeah. pressure in position on that side. It's an outlaw and an operator set up on the A site. You're about to get a defensive dart coming back up too, so they should be able to do another read here towards A. We're gonna go ahead and get a knife out real quick oh. as that pushes Cryo back. And it was a little bait. Get hit by the knife so that somebody could swing towards L, but no contact with the outlaw. Falling back, now picking up a rifle. Lockdown being used on the attack, and Kraus, he just wants to stay inside the site. Yep. Doesn't even care if he's going to get detained. Just to allow Hero Thieves to get the first blood. And now coming out on the attack to block off the screens. Here's the attempt now for 100 Thieves to come back and retake the site, all of them towards heaven. Only a wingman available, no other flashes to support. And now they have to just move in as a group. Drop it towards the ground. MTA. Spike has just been punted by crew, but you do have 100 Thieves moving in. Boost you with another one towards the dice. Now hiding inside the pit. The three players are holding back here. The two players are holding back. For those are in heat, right inside that pit. With Guardians to push that fight and and EU was giving Heat such a hell of a time planting. You may see Heat underneath that heaven drop. Like, why aren't you planting? He, he got knocked down to 35 health before seeing anybody, and he thought he was getting shock darted. So Crew was also sent into chaos because they couldn't plant the spike, but still managed the situation so well throughout the pit. Man, pulling it out when they really needed to. Backs against the wall, game point on the line. Crew stay alive. 100 Thieves are gonna start pushing back harder though, I think. Already up to be here with the Operator out. And this has been a play that's been used before here by 100 Thieves, but it's a jump spot denied by Cryo. That was, that was a, if you think Full about committed. it, Cryo was deep on that angle. Usually it's just a sliver that has allowed Kesnet to do that same jump earlier on Cryo. But no, he got a little deeper with the help there of Bustio, or I'm sorry, of Bang. Do you? <laughs> He was looking to be under attack there, but Austin is there for the save. Up towards the A tower. Two player advantage now for 100 Thieves. A different story than that previous round, and they also have ults in their favor now. So Busio is going to put this up, force them back towards Bang on that flank. He's about to get swung out by three players. He gets one for it, and Cryo holding with the up. There's that crossover, and they're like, yeah, I think there's going to be an up there. Let's go back towards the A site where there's three players of 100 Thieves. And as they go for the high low, there's the last two picks. Hundred Thieves clean in this last round as he defeats now crew on the first map of ice. Be on a scent, but they were sure, playing sure. against a Jonah B Galactus yeah. over on the B side on how they were playing defensive side on G2. And they also did so good to shut down Asuna, not giving a chance here yeah. to allow the star duelist on this map to really activate for the side of the Thieves. And hopefully that's something that's been identified now for the attack side of Hundred Thieves as they started off here with an A side control. Haunt left and right side. You saw MTA's, or I'm sorry, Heat's Haunt come out of B. And that is a heck of a B. It's hold as everything's going towards A here for 100 Thieves so far. They've just skirted around the problem. I think MTA, he knows it's coming because he lost quite a bit of health there. A great start though for 100 Thieves on this read. Weak side towards A. Crew was setting up for a trap play for a fight from the alarm, but on B yep. or a tap on the C site. Now Kazan is swinging out. Somehow crew get the first blood up towards the staircase. And that's the spike falling down all the way towards the back. So yes, we've entered the site for 100 Thieves. But we're so it. far away. Yeah, indeed. At least the pain shell is going to help a bit. Give a chance now for Austin to move forward. But he's moving alone. No support towards the back at tree. Jeez. They just set up a security system on the spike now. What else? Oh. What else? It's oh. a sheriff. 
What else? It's the Sheriff. <laughs> Bustio getting Timmy to turn in two more in his favor, EU allowing again. EU again on a one versus two. It's a high low on a staircase. He's down a one HP. Gonna make it very difficult now. Hit by the paranoia, forced to fall back. And with 18 seconds left, now that his hand's pretty much yeah. pinched here, twisted, forced to move in and out of the smoke. And that's gonna be greeted by the crossfire set up by Shy left. and Melzer. Swings out. There it is. Crew with a good start. Man. Just getting into sight was the problem. I think you, you nailed it. When the spike went down, that was kind of the, the crux of the play. Nobody had a chance to reroute through tree fast enough. Nobody was still there to secondary pick it up. So the spike as the caboose seemed to be a problem on that one as the train was headed into sight. Bustio with three, though. That sheriff did come up big. Kesnit is rocking his way towards the showstopper, too, after a kill for himself. Looks like they're gonna try to nade back here on whatever may be a second round protocol. Let's definitely try to smother these players here, trying to take the yep. control like you just mentioned. And look at Busio after the initial utility. Here is the footstep, the fallback of three players. Although unfortunately for the Thieves, as they were trying to fall back, Melzer got a pick here with the Outlaw. I'm assuming the door opened up for him to get that one yeah. as he's holding the tree. All right, he got an orb and a death. <laughs> orb and an orb. <laughs> Lucio is able to sneak in towards that B side and get the pick. And he'll give a chance, though, for EU to move in for a plan. And somehow, again, the IGL with the Sheriff is able to yeah. drop two. He's four Sheriff kills to start already. And damage onto Heat. Heat now forced to throw a haunt to get info. Lucio's trying to find the timing with that swing. Weapon now picked up by Bang. His HP is down to 35, and the smoke is going to make it difficult for him to try to clutch this one versus three. All right. Crew Thanks keeping quite that. a few alive, too. Thank you. So that is going to feel good. Going to have this outlaw the for the low armor next round. No charges. Let's see how they set up on defense, too, to come into this one, because I think we're going to finally get the 100, C's, 100 deep C round. We might just get a C mount fight. Good rotation so far by Crew. Not overexerting anything to get these situations back and really playing behind each other here. I think that's what they were failing to do a little bit towards the end of Ice Boxes. Get those rounds. All right, yep, here's the C play from 100 Thieves. And it looks like they are going to get Haunt over the wall. Priority from Crew here, too. Prowler instead under the smoke. And it's yeah. a double smoke, too, for them to pop out of there. And it surprises Kesnit. Duelist down now for Crew. Busio continue to push forward. And finally, he is able to find something here with the Guardian to trade it back. But this bonus round from Crew that they were trying yeah. to take control towards Mount at the start was fully denied by great utility from 100 Thieves. And that weapon is just out of Mount, so they're not really going to be able to do an excursion to get it. You can see EU protecting it just for now. And make sure they can't come out for this. Bring them down. Well, actually, yeah, this Prowler's not getting contact, and really doesn't matter, really, at this point. He's mm -hmm. anchored up, posted up here, and waiting potentially for the Haunt to come out and throw it, and just to keep, really, crew anchored up towards the C side. You already see the scaling up on the other end from 100 these out towards the A side on this minimap. There you go. Thank you. Boom. Called it. Haunt's out. He knows at least one's here, so they're going to be rotated across the map, and even that one at C, means that probably don't have two on A. They would be rotating or backside sight, so this should be pretty easy for them to take. Yeah. In the end, it's definitely easy and open sight now for 100 Thieves to plant and focusing on getting the orbs up onto Austin yeah. and getting the showstopper up and ready as soon as possible. And there is that triple push. Weapon upgrades coming out from crew at least. Guardian Vandal picked up. Oh, he, okay, he heard him. <laughs> He's gonna hear a lot of them and he doesn't really have help yet. So the door gets opened up. That's a window of opportunity for EU to get punished, and he will. Shy with the first pick, and with the wall coming up, not given a chance here for 100 Thieves to help his teammates. Help EU to go for a trade. Now forced to fall back inside the site. Paranoia being thrown out. A face-to-face -face battle won by Bang, and there you go. They stopped the hemorrhaging for that round. Gun round converted for 100 Thieves on the attack. 
All right. And it looked like 100 Thieves felt confident in that, right? The, uh, moving around the map, even losing one wasn't a problem. They kept pace. It looked like they had the positioning they wanted the whole time. And the, the EU lead was very nice, inserting him towards that left side. It's not even something we saw the last time they were playing Lotus. They, 100 Thieves wasn't showing us any fakes. They would go see, they wouldn't even open the door B or touch any of the doors in the map. They, they were just doing the basic fundamentals in here. Already stretching that a little bit more. And a nice cross map play there. We get into guns for both teams here in our fourth round. A little less love on that C mound, but it is crew pushing up on rubble this time. Mel's are gaining a very forward position as they went for that fight. And they're not going to find anything just yet, so expect that rotation now. Three members for crew and B, and they're just, they're playing a we're prepared to go to either side of the map situation on defense right now. Looks like it's a setup. Yeah. Clearing out towards Rubble with the snake bite. Bustio trying to jump up towards B main. Mm -hmm. They have a lockdown to work with as well for the attacks that are the thieves. It could have potentially been a lockdown on C on B at that point. Now it seems to be an execution just to try to clear Rubble. And if they could take control of that, maybe ult towards A. But instead, as they realize the one-way smoke's being thrown out by Melzer, all of them falling back, pulling back, and going for that Here. initial play, the lockdown towards C. Smokes up for Cryo, gonna be able to get that good in sight. Oh my, oh, Asuna. Nah, they lose two players in that fight before they're able to get that lockdown yeah. down. Door now being opened up by Heat. Just being sprayed as he falls back. And now the site's been given up because of this lockdown, but this will pin all three players of the Thieves inside the C site, and only two players will stand with weapons because the other one has the plan. Given a chance now for Crew to move in from the waterfall, trying to pinch in also from the spawn, but as Cryo's still holding it towards the waterfall. Only one left, avoiding the paranoia. It's Bustio coming off the plant. Here's the footsteps on the top, there's the Dink, but cast it, wall bangs him back. And Crew managed to get a clean retake in round number four. So Crew have their focus on C and B, right? They play outside of A on that round. There's quite a few ultimates, too, from 100 Thieves that would push them out of sight, right? Make that fearful to just play in it. But that's exactly what Crew do. Like you said, they're in sight when all these alts or hits are coming in. The lockdown was going down. They were ready to take that fight and throw 100 Thieves off guard. So really, really neat way to play this one towards C knowing if it went A, it'd be a retake. But they were ready to just face the fight. And that's the crew we know. Just getting down and dirty as soon as possible in these rounds as that fight happens. Yeah. All for Kaznet. It looks like they're gonna try to use it right off the bat. Yeah, if any pressure's coming through. Yeah. So a lot of that util no towards trouble first, so that if there's actually anything going through and anybody trying to come across, at least a showstopper's gonna be used towards the doorway, but a quick pivot by 100 Thieves, a quick tempo towards the seaside. But all this a ruse to start. This defensive setup that Crew is doing always leaves 3 and B right after the first protocol of the round. Really leaves it versatile for which way they want to move here. And they're gonna, are they going to choose right, though? 100 Thieves look to play that hit, re-hit game again now on Lotus, where they have four towards C and that one yeah. lurk. And they've opened the door. <laughs> it finally happened. Just trying to mass with Crew. That's all they need to put a few more things in their mind. And yeah, Crew is very spread thin across the map here, so this should be nice if 100 Thieves try to hit. Down. You definitely see the cautious play coming out from 100 Thieves. And this might be the engagement to run after. When his orb comes down, it's going to have to be Asuna hey. facing against the unknown with the showstopper in. Thankfully, here Fire on that side, ball. there's nobody seconds left. guarding that site. Satchel's back towards the spawn, head to head against Kesdit, who runs forward. And now Kesdit has his own showstopper, gonna pull it out of his side, and oh, it's it runs forward! Planted. <laughs> what is happening? At least it's traded out. There's the nightfall out from the waterfall. Lots of contacts coming through on the pulse plan. It's going back and forth, lit up like a Christmas light, and only Cry and Melzer, controller versus controller, TPing across the world potentially. No, it's a fake. Inside the smoke, back fist out, Rattles waiting for Melzer. A bad play coming out, punished by the 100 Thieves. That was big brain. <laughs> Thought he could jump through and see if maybe he caught a glimpse of it, but actually catches the full clip. Goes down and 100 Thieves find another round in this already back.
and forth matchup. Back and forth showstoppers. To be honest, that's absolutely crazy. I don't know if we've ever seen that. <laughs> At least I haven't. Oh my. And yeah, the jump through thinking had a moment. The positioning was outside sight. <laughs> just everybody's going wild right now. 100 Thieves are vibing just off of that round. What it meant. I don't know if they're vibing. It feels like Asuna's heart rate was like at 300 <laughs> there. Palpitating, maybe the word. <laughs> the, vibes the, come. the vibes will come. Interesting enough, though, you see the control towards the sea side of the mountain. The orbs picked up by Asuna when you had EU ready here with the nightfall on that side. So they want to leverage once again utility to overtake the site. Maybe identifying that crew is going to be on an eco this time around. So they can use guns in their advantage and use the guns to potentially get these orbs. Oh. And it works out. I mean, look at these sprays coming out. Oh my god. And there's a nightfall. All right, through the smoke, Crescent Falls. And that's a post plant potentially successful now as the whole roster of 100 Thieves are guarding out the post plant on the C site. A battle about to ensue towards the flank, and it's going to be the last battle in the hands won by Bang. As 100 Thieves get a bolus and now tie up the game on cruise map pick. And I'm sure Zix is happy to see that. Having the, the like you said, these, these are pressure games, right? We yeah. play a little slow to start that. Well, on eco rounds, you better not be slow to those. You gotta be confident, you gotta go, and especially after just winning the gun round they did. Get in there, start pulling the rug out from under cruise retake by smoke shots, why not? Why not? The Flawless is there. The Econ is now there. As you're seeing, there's low, low money here on the side of crew that's going to really start to affect them if they can't get through these rounds. They have some ults to work with, and they continue to pressure this A-Rubble side. I think 100 Thieves are just fine to let them have this area, use that initial util, and get back when they can. But this is a different look from crew as they push a little bit further. Exactly. With EU, his position, or should I say bang from his position when he broke that haunt, heard a lot of util and players moving up towards the rubble, which also calls the 100 Thieves to pivot more towards the C side just to keep those opponents at bay and force potentially crew to fall back and second guess their positioning here now. As you can see it, Melzer's now holding this area alone and all of the Thieves are grouped up now together to fight back and potentially regain control of this A site. And Bustio finally gives a nod to front side B here. So whether or not this is conditioning for some now rounds to come, you have to wonder as the A-Rubble hit comes in. Well, that Han's gonna get shot, so that gives his position away, tries oh, to TP no. out. Yeah, got seized with the Molly, but at least oh. it's an omen. <laughs> TP's out and also gets back to safety behind spammable box. But that might be it as soon as this wall comes down. Asuna going for the spray first as the wall drops, and it's won by Melzer and Heat for the support, but it's a trade-off for a one-for-one. One. Heat forced to fall back towards Hobbit. The lurk from Busio, but once again, an immediate trade. Now Nightfall on the attack side does hit Chai. Chai falls back and goes for the lockdown right away, but there's the pivot from 100 Thieves towards yeah. the A site at 17 seconds left. Pink shells available for Kesdin that could deny the plant. 100 Thieves have to move quickly now. And there's Cryo winning that one, a huge kill to allow now finally a safe plant for the Thieves. Shy just jumped into sight. And he's moving in here towards the spam box. There's that double swing. He gets the one. He isolates that fight. It's tied up on a 2v2, forcing out the pit on the attack. And now EU just holding his ground towards that staircase. Timidatory coming out. Is he winning that fight? The pit comes down. But the Tori doesn't spot him. So low. The players are definitely low, but now it's re-healed because of that pit. MT is still very healthy. EU has no util, MTA oh. with the wide swing for that fight. Phew. Just waiting for the health to come back, knowing that couldn't come from Shy. He was watching the back angle. It is up to MTA to swing and hitting yeah. those shots today. Absolutely wild round for Shy. The, the speed which Shy dropped super. back into sight was a huge kill here. Absolutely incredible okay. movement, especially there. Man, yeah, the MTA's quick flick and going towards tree to get uh, regain control there. Wild, wild. That's a little bit of confidence we have not been seeing from Crew. And after two rounds, the 100 Thieves Crew take one back and the post plant. Three alts ready too. And that was that was the econ round that they could not suffer. They get through it, get those 3,000 credits. Little push out here. We've switched the map completely as we put Melzer on the left side and the rest of the crew now for this rubble fight. But nothing's gonna come of it just yet. Definitely a stalemate to start. Orb now picked up by Asuna, one away from the showstopper. Continuous, similar scenarios rather as 
Once again, Bang was pressured out towards the A side, but this time around, it's not going to be Melzer trying to hold out the orb, hold out the A main. It's actually going to be MTA that does have a snake bite to work with still, so he could delay even more. So once again, Hunter Thieves trying to work the map and a push forward from Shy and Heat catches Busio off guard, identifying these lurks and yes. the pressure that Busio is trying to bring. They realize he's just toying with him. Wait though, Asuna trying to move faster and recoup on that kill and see if they can get one of their own. Paranoia is beautiful here just to push the players back from the nightfall thrown by Heat. You'll take that any day. A little paranoia versus an ult. Now the paint shell's coming down here from heaven. Asuna avoids it after going for the plant. And with that, has the showstopper, but he's low on HP. Bang with the spray. Showstopper now initiated. Engage and holding it back towards the tree just to be the last line of defense and also trying to run that clock down. MTA trying to walk out, hit by the seas, also taken yes. down by Cryo. And the last three players here, it's going to be difficult now for, Cru uh, for crew, rather to retake this A site. It comes down potentially on this pinch towards the staircase as well. There's the high low. Melzer makes it work. Advantage back for 100 Thieves as there's only one player left. It's going to be Heat at low HP in the back of the site. The swing from the site avoids the shots, breaks the haunt. And Asuna is just going to run the clock down. It's all in favor of the Thieves. Heat trying to fall back to save. Might be too late. The round will go for the Thieves. No matter what, he escaped. He escaped. The least there's that. The least there's that. He gets away with it. Oh, a 100 Thieves right back to A. Even with the majority of the members of crew there to start it, right? That's one of the rounds where it was only Melzer at C and the rest of crew is A. 100 Thieves still press through and these side takes and retakes are bloody. Yeah. Teams are right in each other's faces. These smokes clear. They're testing each other to the max and it is just coming down to the last drop and a few players every single time as we're now at round nine, four to four here on map two. Just that pit's gonna be left for MTA. Slowing it down with that basic 4-1 here from 100 Thieves. They don't even leave, yeah. actually, a bang over there for long, or uh, Eve for their long. Piss around setup pretty much now for crew. The difference is they don't have the alarm but out towards the B yeah. main, so they do have some players needed to face that angle. And the jump spot, you see it from the minimap coming out here from MTA, so all of this pressure might be good because this is the perfect stack on this orb tap. Door, although not being broken up. You're waiting for the turret to actually initiate that. There's the paranoia, but Asuna with the judge close range, and there's a swing out the door. That's a spike down, and a beautiful setup by crew to shut down Hunter Thieves on that control of the Seamount. Although, here's the push at the door. MT misses that cross, giving a chance now for Bang for that fight. There's that headshot on against it. And Busio's now alone in the back one. Boy, he's crouching down for the spray. And Crew take the lead again. A thrifty coming in from Crew. If you were to rewind the game just a few rounds back, you'd see them playing that same strat outside B. They just weren't able to use it. Reading the map when it's most appropriate, trying to put these little outside the box protocols in. And man, did it pay off. Super smart stuff coming in from MTA to keep the options open here for Crew and for that round to come back in their favor. We go back and forth again. <laughs> now Crew takes the lead and it's going to be Pistols. Sheriffs for 100 Thieves here as they're finally economy broken. Just a rubble control will not be fought for this time. And it's going to have to be 100 Thieves on a fact-finding mission here before they feel comfortable on this, their own thrifty to get through this round. Looks like they thought they had an opportunity here to take yeah. down Melzer opening that door. But with that shot gives their position away and they're like, okay, well, let's just go back to where we could maybe get some pressure on the seaside. One-way smoke being thrown by Cryo, allowing Bustio to sneak up and get the headshot on the MTA. Huge start now for 100 Thieves to move inside the seaside. The plant for Mound. Potentially here to play outside of the site because Kezin has the showstopper to work with. Door now being opened from the back. Shot and taken down by Cryo once again. And that will potentially nullify the usage of that showstopper for Kesnit. Unless they want to commit it. Kesnit and Heat already running in. Pain shells now being thrown towards the bend. Stink bite to answer back on the side of the Thieves. And that is it. Last two players falling back for crew. And it'll be a round converted by 100 Thieves with the Thrifty. Thrifty and a Thrifty. They answer back with one of their own. You have to be kidding me. What is this game right now? That lurking from Bustio 2 just catching onto the site, able to easily take down MTA quick, and Heat's going to be forced to save again. Deja vu for crew.
Jeez. 100 Thieves showing so much more life here on their attack side and that confidence that they're able to bring out. And by confidence, I mean they're not just waiting outside C and trying to work off audio that they hear at A or maybe a step mid. They're creating their own opportunities, which is exactly what was lacking for 100 Thieves last time they played Lotus. They were waiting for opportunities. Let's see if they can create some more here in the last few rounds of the first half. Two alts per side to be used. This is a very different look from 100 Thieves here. Way back in, just to see if they can get some different movement out of crew. Okay, two away from Nightfall for Heat. And again, they start to just collect in B so they can rotate anywhere off 100 Thieves actions. They want to fight this. As soon as the smoke dissipates, it's potentially a paranoia and just a run through here with the haunt. There. As now they hear the Prowlers coming out towards B main though, this might be the call to move forward, but Kesden is rotating back, ready with the Showstopper just behind his teammate. There's a Satchel across with the okay. wall up, Paranoia being thrown on the defensive side, and it looks like we don't want to go for the high risk, high reward of the Showstopper of Kesden. Got that little lurk on the left side of the map, still giving out audio, and look where EU's going, instantly booking it back. They can easily hear Shy running out of sight right now through Waterfall, but do they know it's MTA again? Busio might get picked here. They heard the drop for sure. Hello. There's that easy kill. TP towards the site. He sticks in. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> Let go of that one for Cryo. Gonna meet up with the rest left. of 100 Thieves. Forced now to open the door, but once again, potentially into their trap if they were committed to move inside this B site. Once again, because of the showstopper for Kesnet. Now just going for the trade off. Okay. Oh, that C site one on their side. Three on three. Kesnet with the showstopper. No, Satchel right at the legs of Cryo. Ten seconds. Ten seconds left. Satchel, though, denies that plan for a bit. Force it to stick. Runs out of bullets or switch to the knife. And there's that spring. Oh! oh! Heat. Oh my gosh. Everybody right now should just be walking over and high-fiving Kesnet for the strats on that round. Being able to bump the bomb, being able to get the kill with the showstopper, causing chaos in the site, and absolutely leaves up the chance for the team, for crew, to close this one out. The runaway is such a bait there from Shy, because MTA was staying in sight. Here's the jump by, and Bustio thought he was free in C. Busio's always been very confident for the way that he yeah. plays so as this lurk. I mean, we've seen so many opportunities in his past games against Sentinels as well. It's like... Info's hardly usable. They just understand that Crew is going to leave someone in sight anchoring really late in the round. Pissaround set up once again, but for the third time, a slight variation. The alarm bug goes back in front of B, but there's no tour to watch the C side, so the paranoia throw and the pinch could potentially be made off the tap of an orb. Again, leverage and a nightfall of heat on top yep. of that. And there it is. Paranoia, nightfall, hits so many players, and there's a deep lurk from Bang to try to win that fight. Two players now falling down for the Thieves, and a huge advantage for Gru to start. Cutting that timeout off. Nicely done. And now three members of 100 Thieves. Figuring out where to go on the map. All they have was C usually on these and B. So everything has to be retaken without using their utility. And crew look like they're going to grab a 7-5. A hell of a fight where from the defensive you? side. Crew at one point 100 Thieves had a few in their favor. But still bring it back here as we watch these final exactly. frags of the round. It could still happen. Remember what just happened on Icebox previously. They lost a two versus four. That's they lost true. a two versus five a crew this time. There's even an extra body for the Thieves. And on top of that, the lockdown is still available. So despite getting two first bloods on crew's side in this round, left. there's still an important ult in the hands of 100 Thieves oh, here. Oh, that was a three ping? Crazy hard. But this, pit is, uh, this pit is not going to do too much. That lockdown is going to force them away unless he just wants to stay stuck in that with the support that he has from the rest of the players. There's 13 seconds left. Smokes are being drawn out. He was just left. waiting on the other side of Hobbit. And as now, we attempt to go for the plant. There's the Seas. There's no need to follow up. Door has been broken. It's not being checked. EU with the first kill. Swings out on the second one. It is doable once again for the Thieves. Cry holding outside of the smoke. There's one hiding inside of it, and that's going to be Heat. EU with a third into the round. Heat finally answers back, but it's perfect trade for 100 Thieves. They've turned it around. It's up to MTA alone now.
Cryo inside of the tree. Tap on that spike, sees, pushes MT away, and there's that wide swing converted by 100 Thesis crew. Let's another advantage for him. Who else picks the pockets on an unwinnable round? It's 100 Thieves to do it again. We saw it on Icebox. We see it here on Lotus. They stave off a 7-5, and they give us the clean 6-6 six, six first half. And by clean, I mean both teams were throwing some haymakers in these. They needed the star power in strats. They had great protocols from both sides. They were reading each other really well. What a start to the second map. And this is tournament life on the line for both of these teams, but you do have that one map advantage currently for 100 Thieves. Crew have to turn it back right around here as the score is tied 6-6, six to six, and it will resume after the break. You can get on this one, and Crew have done their prep too. It just means they have to prep hard as well, knowing that every team's gonna be gunning for them. It's no joke when Crew gets into an LCQ run or a playoff, yeah. playoff run with these players. Towards C to start. We're gonna get crew on the attack side now. 100 Thieves over on to defense. Would you believe a 4-1 to start us off? Don't actually have, or oh, we do have Austin as Sheriff, okay. Just looking around, usually it's Bustio, but he's on a shorty this round, so he's gonna stay close. Everything is about Waterfall well, and getting somebody to turn in him for, the, for there. Yeah, he went two Nanos and Armored as well, so he's trying to play the Jiggle, trying to do some damage with right, the Nanos, right. get a shorty, he falls back. I'm sure there's a classic towards Waterfall. Um, uh, for that round, but definitely a stalemate to start things off. We're at the mid of mark, and everybody from crew are still holding back towards this pawn. As finally here in the mid round, starting to scale up towards the mound. Alarm bot to watch a flank potentially now, giving a tell that the commitment is going to be the C site for crew. There's a paranoid close range. Lucio still waiting, but just inside that smoke makes a little bit of noise, and there's that classic. classic. Snake bite held them back for a bit, and here comes a whole pop, the huge pop. Ooh, the fake. Nobody bites. But Bang will out towards the band. Three, four swinging out from crew. And that's two down, 400 Thieves. And C site opened up for a plant. Oh, that was chunky. Good damage. Seven left here for Kesnit in terms of HP. Some sheriff damage being done, but into the pulse plant. Really good for crew on the whole execution of Flawless on top of that. Vans, what's your over-under on the fact that they heard him pick up a weapon there just on the other side of the wall? Not a single person went to Bustio. I think they heard the little tick of the gun getting picked up. And very smart comms play. Everybody loops back a sight. You know, they take some nade damage, but the round win is A++ plus plus here. They get some good shots in, and they clean that one up. All right, crew start off with a pistol. They should be able to get this second round unless the Thrifties continue to go the way of the low buy. Guardians, Vandals, holy moly. They are taking out loans just to get into this. They want to keep guns throughout that bonus. So crew playing this one probably very Texas slow. Want to keep everybody alive here. Cover going out. Yeah, it seems like they're uh, refinancing their house on this buy. <laughs> so much, so deep into the weapons. And think about it, the way 100 Thieves have been hitting this many, or just a few sheriffs, they combine those shots and you could have one of those vandals for yourself, so. But it's a perfect read so far for it the is. Thieves. One hiding behind the tree, EU just Careful. waiting across, but no Prowler, no C, so it's really classic in a sheriff, Austin with pain shells, but because of this angle, I don't think he wants to throw those pain shells. A wrap around from crew, contact play, close range, as Bang gets picked off, NTA hey. with the second in the round, and finally Austin is gonna get spotted. Oh, what an entry, what a round by MTA. A nice little anti-eagle, flawless, and yeah, you're gonna be able to just pay the bank back after that. Yeah, you easily pay the bank back. Do they have UAV on that round? Is that every turn they hit, it's, there was a player there, MTA was just absolutely laser beaming people. Good Lord. That was unexpected for the, especially for the setup that 100 Thieves had there. You, you think one member of crew goes down. But yeah, you can see Adam just absolutely pumped up there. Turned up to 11, and Crew's trying to right now. They're going to go back towards A here to, again, just tempt. Same strat, a little bit of a push. Let's see what the reaction is from 100 Thieves. We do not have an operator coming out, and I don't think we're going to be seeing Ooh. one. Crow's behind the boxes and was trying to get that spray TP's out, which allows EU to break the door and take down yeah. Melzer, and that's huge because that's no smokes. For crew to set up now for an execution. 
these weapons on the right side. Still low armor for what's guarding on that C site. It's just going to be bang for now. The team moving into more of an anchor position on defense for 100 Thieves as crew are setting up for that offensive attack. Oh, and they've chosen right. Soft sight, it's just bang. No utility, though, trying to play the contact. There's finally a hot being thrown. Bang's position. Surrender given up. Especially with the boom bot, but somehow still manages to win that duel against Heat. Snake bite on the ground. Another one on one. Finally, a double swing, but here it comes. Crew in are able to take the C site for now. Elise towards the bend. Shy is heavily wounded. Paranoia out on the defensive left. side. Now it's time for 100 Thieves to counteract. Turn around for EU remain. in a one versus Spike two. Beautiful down, shots see. coming out from Crew. A chance to still win. Shy just waiting for EU for the peak. EU only has two bullets. Two incredible clutchers in this game right now against each other. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. EU's gonna play it safe and court. Oh. Shy was going for the top swing for sure, and EU was cold the whole time. Wow. I'm sure they were trying, they couldn't relay too much damage onto him, too. So, yeah, wanting to at least get an eye on EU, something, but a smart play. Keeps distance. Waiting for the plan, anyways, it would have seemed like. Good replay on this. Bang to be in the back of sight. Actually, super heady from bang to step up there. Because when you're coming around that corner, a team expects you to kind of play on the platform. You're not going to be swinging into water, but swinging down into water is definitely what caught crew off guard, dwindled their numbers, and got that damage onto Shy, so EU could collect. Really big stuff just coming together here in small steps for 100 Thieves on these rounds, but we're gonna see a crew B hit possibly here. Spikes down, so I, this is gonna be a push and pull for now. Definitely lots of utility being used at the very beginning. Breaking all U tilt towards the B side. Wall coming up now on the defensive side. But really for crew, working around that map, focusing on an orb. And now having players inserted in different areas. You see you still see Melzer up towards this side and Asuna. Although you had players inset up towards B, this is Asuna with a judge close range. Oh boy. Not checked. He would have probably went so deep. And somehow Asuna survives and falls back. It's not too much damage that he was able to do there against Crew with the surprise judge. Yeah, I think they shocked each other for a moment. Quick hit, B door open in the end, and possibly an end B here as they're going to try to get a little fake towards C going on and get these players rotated on the side of 100 Thieves. Melzer. Ooh, catches Cryo off guard left. as Cryo was trying to get a paranoia for the C side. Best he could do was that, but at least there's players for 100 Thieves. What just happened? What in the world? What just happened? Everybody just popped and died towards front B. I think the door hit him on the way out. That, that's, what it, that's what it looked like. That door opened from 100 Thieves and it was just a slaughter inside that tunnel in front side B. God, 100 Thieves are reacting very fast right now. And they're really oh. not letting crew feel like they have any space, to be honest. There was nothing coming in from the B side. It was just no. Usu and Bang <laughs> at the bend. Just, just spraying them all down. Okay, back towards A. Scuffle? No, just a hang. Cryo, though, playing some elevation. Good at this angle. Usually gets a pop shot here. Only saw this time not quick enough on a reaction, but at least spawned Kesson jumping across. So that's Duelist on that side. Potentially now keeping 100 Thieves heavier towards this uh, an A-side hold. You can definitely see it here, the rotate out from Austin down towards the staircase. Comes down now to the Lurk activation, a double push coming out from Crew. But there's no util to come cross with it. Bang just waiting on the other side. Ooh. It almost feels like the murmur is here coming out. They felt something on Crew's side. Smoke dissipates. There is that contact play. Wall comes up. It's spotted too. But Shy was still able to get Instrict slightly inside this B site. Now forced to commit. Good positioning. And there's the high low. Perfect now for the trade. 100 Thieves still with the upper hand, especially now that MTA has fallen by the hands of Cryo on the lurk. No opportunities to go in for a plant on this thrifty for crew. And once again, 100 Thieves, they take the lead. Whoa. A little bit of a back and forth there. Cryo getting the 1v1 on the right side of the map. 
Definitely been some criticism towards why isn't he on a jet? Obviously here on Lotus, that's not going to be the composition, but people have always said, oh, there's the smoke. Burn as well, four out of the five. Yep. To come back onto the championship stage. Caution here. As they will allow EU to taste the championship stage as well. Moving up from challengers, picked up here by M80. And now potentially to move to champs with 100 Thieves. As now on the attack sign after the timeout crew playing it very cautiously. It's time for them to feel the heat, to feel that pressure. My ult's ready. And to not be as explosive as we know that crew could be. Big hits here for the site. If they just don't want to get in with a lockdown, they do it with Showstopper. And they're going to see who's there to play before they get in. It's definitely right. a setup. Boy, yeah. A setup to push out. Boombot to move, for move forward towards the mound. And I was just about to mention that triple setup, the high lows, was probably potentially right there to deny that Showstopper coming in. But we stay on a four versus four. It's a little aggressive at sea. I think everybody takes a breath after that. The door open here from Melzer as the play to see happens. It doesn't even look like th they feel like that door is a problem on the side of 100 Thieves. They're still staying. and just going to have EU check to make sure there's no hard B lurk. We'll just be a split inside the door. And this is perfect right now. What 100, what 100 Thieves want for crew to deplete their showstopper early. Deplete even the lockdown early. Lockdown. Very interesting place, but also it gives a chance now for crew to set up the play towards Hobbit. I'm taking down the players on the A side would not allow a nightfall to be used here on the defensive side retake. I love the positioning already. Just if they stay in sight after putting a lockdown that early, it, it's useless. They have to gain some ground. Shy facing the wall, anti-flash, but also just being a little rat here. Yeah, they're trying to leverage Kesit to be the bait. And there's a nightfall. And that, because of that, he still gets two kills. Enemy remaining. And even the third one, somehow, the nightfall should have seen him. And he's able to play close range and just dome three players of 100 Thieves and allow crew to tie up the game. Jeez. So basically feeling like he's hiding until he looks down at his feet and his shoes get tied together. Didn't even matter. Yeah, this, the peak remaining. push there was crazy, but you can't fault. You got to try things certain times, get an upper hand in the round. It just looks that much crazier because we have an even score round after round here at 9-9. Nine, nine. So anything I think anybody does outside team protocol just feels crazy. We still got to see it. We still got to have that play though. Quickly out, Melzer on to Rubble, and they're not going to get too much worse for wear here off any utility coming in from the A stop from 100 Thieves. But we do have a lurk here. 100 Thieves get proactive on C long. Shy's going to find out. Shy's going to find out the first duel and also see Bustio move up. No opportunities to trade it out. Bustio forced to fall back in ADS to cover that area. So wounded are 100 Thieves to start off the round number 19. Look at the positioning. You see her from crying. He has to kind of go back and forth at this point and can't add that extra support into the A site. Especially when they don't have a paranoia to help for the holds. They're just going to have to potentially gamble now where this hit from crew would come from. I like this thought already from crew. I mean, he took one down here. Chances are, yes, they're still a player, but do they fully rebolster the site? Probably not. So you're more than likely getting that one player. Bustio is forced to back up, but he has his util to play around here, Van Silly. Uh oh. No, he doesn't. That's my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's me. Crew made it in. This will be a plant. And also, you can see it here. It's a Kesnet plant. Very similar play style to 100 Thieves, where you have so many players close to these ults on MTA, on Heat, on Melzer. But they do give a lot of value to the showstopper right now on their raise again for both of these teams and you definitely see it for the last three of 100 thieves although isolated and separated they're gonna save the weapons now and forfeit the round to crew now, what incredible stuff from crew to again another round in their favor but this is mta coming in late to the season and being able to adjust with the team yes had played with it before understands the mentality and how to align with what the team wants to do from being there but it's a different story to make it happen. And we're seeing it here from Crew. Another round for them is Melzer gets a little bit of a lurk on an omen diff. 
but yeah, the, the just the the round we saw them go C to A and then door to B, right? And then this round, it's 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 pretty incredible things they're coming up with here. Right after the bonus is won by hundred thieves, crew do grab two rounds of their own. Oh, just hatch that left. nade. <laughs> Unfortunate. Looks like we will get a timeout here. On the side, 100 Thieves. Zix likes to get in early and set things up for the team, and you can easily kind of get an idea. It almost across the board. Two members just bought, so they're on a 2,500, but no problems there. Pretty low money for 100 Thieves here, so they could be in a position to suffer with these rounds to come if they cannot get through healthy. Just the watch now still from Shy Vans. Watch that flank. They know 100 Thieves wants to try things. They just want to give everybody that's pushing up on A free time. This is not bad, though, from how things are going here for the setup for 100 Thieves to get information. Double up towards the mound. There's a Prowler to lisp out towards B main. Yeah. If there was contact, you're set up with the Paranoia to try to pinch that area. Well, for the rest, you could anchor up a little bit more deeply inside the A site because you have the Alarm Bot watching the staircase. So they are trying to go for, once again, some risky plays on stacks because they have this lower buy and trying to capitalize out of that. And it's a judge close. They're trying to play this crossfire again with Tree and fake out to the right flank or right peak. Nano Swarm pushes Asuna out, but the door Jeez. has closed. So that's gonna reset things though. Look at him hide back behind the tree. And Busio just winning with the judge. There's a seize, it catches one. He swings out! And didn't realize there was three players there. Judge oh is gosh. not gonna do anything. Busio melted by the snake bite. And now it's up to EU alone inside the site. Cryo long range from heaven with the Guardian. Seconds left. And you still see Cruz slightly hesitating, being fairly cautious to move inside the site. EU now avoiding the turret, trying to walk up. There's the paranoia, but Bowser is waiting at the staircase for the backstab. And that will not give any chance here for 100 Thieves. I don't think this is going to be a two versus five that 100 Thieves could convert this time around because everybody is so close and tight knit for crew. And the timeout doesn't matter. The fact that they threw the nade at Tree and were able to clear Tree so easily, think back to, to Crew's defense. They run that same positioning. I mean, a lot of people do. It's a really good crossfire here as we see the final shots. But the fact that they just threw a nade at Asuna's feet, it was, that's crazy. Can't ask for more for Crew right now, especially coming out 100 Thieves timeout to just snuff out that momentum so they don't feel anything from it. A few ultimates for crew to use here in the next round and uh, you know if asana hadn't gotten chipped by that nade he probably could have almost gotten a collat there probably could have almost I'm really leaving it up to chance <laughs> all right stingers around and the guardian for bustio they are mine They're keeping their economy within range of being able to purchase but still that's the crew's favor right now back to this 4-1 they like the way that 100 Thieves is answering it. It's not giving crew that much pressure, and they don't have to sweat anything all the way up the orb each time. They definitely have been looking like clean rounds for crew on how they're attacking yeah. these past few rounds. Shadows traveling. And albeit it was a broken buy for 100 Thieves, another broken buy for them this time around. And they're playing for the tie. They want to try to force this into overtime unless able to convert the lower buy with Stingers, this half buy that they bring out. Man, crew, crew actually set up really well here to, to close this one out and bring us to a third map. Alts, money, the momentum of the game. So they swap the 4-1, inserting Heat. That means Heat's going to have some type of a ruse play, right? This haunt goes over towards A. Oh, it's going to be a full nightfall. And he tags so many, you're right. And that's definitely, okay, pedal to the metal. Let's move in towards the C site. Or picked up meanwhile by Kesden, and it might even give him a spike. Indeed, he has it on his back. He'll activate it. And you talk about how important these ults could be. Yes, they have left. these set up if they don't need to use it into the next round. Lurk here by Heat, spotted now by the turret. Kesden got his, planting. Now we'll have to see here for 100 Thieves in the lower buy on the retake. If it forces out these ults, this is pretty good. Oh, it's up. <laughs> Actually, a turn around by 100 Thieves. There's only one player left somehow. Heat now hit by the Prowler, gets the headshot onto EU, Cryo goes for the defuse, and that's a lockdown. That's a win here for the Thieves. Absolutely wild. Too many cooks in the kitchen on that one. A little too forward from Shy and Kesden at the same time. They get caught up in the showstopper. 
feels good to get a double kill, but not that type of double kill. All right. So 100 Thieves actually, they stop it. We did not see that coming on the Stinger Guardian round, Van Silly. Give me a break. Crazy stuff. I, honestly, after that chaos, the Stingers are the best thing to have when you're running into sight. Just W and mouse one. Results will come. All right, spikes down in A lobby. A little bit of push and pull around here from crew as they know this is getting tight. A few more rounds of this economy, and they won't be able to do too much if 100 Thieves get that game point. Such a huge cushion there by 100 Thieves by converting that round with four players still alive and the first blood in this round. Crew's still healthy. Still good to buy in the next should they lose yeah. this one here. Although, 100 Thieves this time around has a showstopper to work with, a great opportunity to tie up the game with it. As all of them are converting towards Asuna. Asuna misses a spray fight against Shy, who gets three kills and a lockdown activated for his side, should they choose to use it for crew. How are these fights being won so far? I think that's a great point because it looked like they almost wanted to put lockdown right away, but realizing more rounds to play, get together so they can collectively use it and know the timing. So this is going to be the push into sight. They just have to worry about that drop, and the pings are already there. Smart. It's in that corner, and yeah. they have a snake bite as well for if they want to use it for MTA. And there you go. He gets shot in there. Spike planted. Toxic. Much bang. Bang with the lapel down silently. Here's the footsteps of two players towards tree. Doesn't know if there's a third one. It'll be a surprise. Shy with a 4K pit coming up. And it's Boosty alone now with the turret. Walking inside that pit, slowly decaying down. Tap onto it. There is a spray at Melzer that wow. seals the ace, but crew doesn't care. They want the map in their favor. You mentioned Shy there. The 4K from him recently in that round. The flank watch, winning the 1v1 duels, incredibly important on their attack side, on crew's attack side right now, coming from Shy. 23 and 15 from him, cleaning up. 100 these members across the board. And they grab another one, Vance. Game point here. It has been a slugfest of a Lotus map between 100 Thieves and Crew, and we might even get that ascent for our decider. Crew's gonna push out towards A, actually roaming a bit towards B. It's one of the first times here in the last few rounds, if not their first. So they're trying to bait out the showstopper. The spikes already dropped down towards the spawn, so they're trying to work the map for Crew's attack side. And really, for 100 yeah. Thieves, they're not biting into any type of early utility being thrown yet. They want to confirm where the hit's going to be. They need the Showstopper to add value to this round because they have, once again, a broken buy. Stinger and Bulldog in the hands of Bang and Austin, respectively. Oof. As with the map point for Crew, you need this round to be pristine on the, on the defensive side. Looks like one of those wild rounds that'll eventually end B here for crew. They already tried to get a blast pack. Utility destroy on C, but Bustio has placed his utility a bit deeper to not be affected by that just right away. So door does get open. They're using Ooh. previous round strats here to get themselves around the map and not for the initial protocol. So they're trying to run 100 Thieves thin on defense. The position's not the best here for Asuna. He's playing on the staircase. Left. He might get caught. He's already got sprayed. Pain shells in, forced to come out. Showstopper close, there's the haunt, and not dodged by Kesdip, but at least Bowser is there. Oh, and once again, EU opens the door and breaks it up. Fight towards the B side, pinch from crew inside, and now swing it behind towards A! Toronto saves the day! Oh my gosh! The way that Crew Visa was just jumping through there, he trying to get the jump peaks for the teammate. That usually they're so confident you just see a team take a round at that point, but no. Cryo. He held that and then a little, a slight little transition there at the end, too, as they collided on each other. Woo. Beautiful stuff. A necessary round there, staving off. Defeat. 100 Thieves stays here on Lotus. And we're going to get a timeout, a defensive protocol to stop over there. We don't see any alts on the board. Bang's the closest one on deck with the Viper's Pit here. And crew are going to try to go for that A again. This is the last time they played this. This is where Shy came up with the 1v1 at C. It's not that quick coming through from crew. It's a TP across, no satchels forward. 
but it is at least a temple quick enough to potentially explode when this wall comes down. And there's the first. There's a second and a third. And this is going to be it right here. I mean, look at the HP. Look at the players. It's easy right now for crew to go for a point. Tasting now the third map as a spike goes spike down planted. on the A site. The last two players of 100 Thieves, Bang and Bustio. They've converted it's before a two fear. versus five on Icebox. But now, their positions have been given up by the Nightfall. And look how safe they're playing it. Three yep. players towards the tree. And as everybody's deafened on the defensive sign, they're just so afraid of any players pushing, but this is perfect for crew. No chance, really, as they need a miracle now for 100 Thieves to convert this round. It's not going to happen as Bustio is now the last player standing. There's not enough time on to the spike. Pad up the stats, get those kills, but it's over there. Crew will be able to push this onto a set. The beginning, I mean, look at how those heroic plays that came out from Shy, from Kesnit, from Heat. Without further ado, it's time for the pistol round. The final, the final map in this series between Thieves and Crew. Crew on the attack side, working the A site. No B site hold though. Turret's watching up top mid, so this is going to be a commitment towards the A site pop. Instant. I love that smoke. A drop smoke allowing Crow to get the pick onto MTA. Bang holding behind here towards the conference against that pick. A second one there onto Shy. And the full commitment gets fully denied. He is now alone at 25. And 100 Thieves are looking very good to secure their pistol around here in this third map of the series. It's uncanny. Bang, in my mind, might be one of the best, or not the best, A anchor on ascent that we see, right? Like you can maybe give B to Trent from G2, but watching Bang anchor A is absolutely absurd every yeah. time. Yeah. The amount of multi kills he gets, the amount that he makes an opponent team chase him back and forth. It played it smart. And seeing that, the flat or the smoke come in from Kesnet, it was actually if teleported no in on Mel Melzer, then, too. And they double again. cloud burst there, or get a cloud burst in, rather. But Bang knew exactly what was going on, didn't try to overpeak, and waited for the assistance to come in. So that's what they're working against today. Jeez. That's definitely good variation here to take down that initial push out from crew. Yeah, they're going to have to rethink this around for crew definitely on how they could snuff out Bang if they choose to commit towards this A site again. Yeah. But when they go towards B, I mean, this is still also EU. Very good with the Silver Utility. Very good with an Odin as well. And with Bustio anchoring up with him. Already some wall bang shots, getting some damage, some opportunity, some advantage for the Thieves on the defensive side. It's now Ku realizing that after the smoke came down that they had to fall back, and when it crossed over back towards mid, here's the man of the hour, Cryo with his own guardian, looking back down. The sight of that guardian, but nobody really wants to cross yet. No shot. What a hit from Kesnit. Like you said, dry peaks there. 100 D's not ready for that one, and this is going to be a weapon they should be able to collect. And that one's my bad chat. <laughs> Cast nice curse, curse there. Opportunity for Guardian yet picked up by crew. All right, drop somebody that sheriff. Let's go. Looks like they'll keep it. They're not even going to worry. About oh, no, yeah. Okay, yep. Max it out. In the moment, you still have this pressure over from MTA. He's going to have a dart that's going to hit behind the members of 100 Thieves as market hit comes in. Left. If they can time it right, they're just waiting for that. And MTA just got his dart. And also still has a knife to work with, but he doesn't want to use it. He wants to use it more reactively when the hit is coming. And it seems to be towards the B site. Okay. Realizing you now their players are 100 Thieves, it's a high-low, just playing towards the ledge. Turn down. Is going to be EU. Now popping out. There's a swing left and right. The ADS for two. Lucio only with the ghost towards the back, though. Will he deny the plant? The high low. Beautiful flash. Oh my god. And now there's no time. Oh, and the wall baby. Shut on to heat. What a nice flash that came out from Asuna. Yeah. That was disgusting. Honestly, the the ranges KO has on this, some of them from spawn over the, the switch house into, into sight. A few other ones you can talk about when we see him, but executed perfectly from 100 Thieves there. That was nice from Kesnet, though. Yeah. That was beautiful.
Those are, those are the ones you feel through the monitor at home. And yeah, Bustio, so clean in the back of sight, keeping that anchor down. And they start off with two from the defender. Bonus. And it's a bigger buy. Um, a bonus operator again from Cryo. We say that, I feel like a it's broken a run record out. for Cryo on these bonus rounds. Yeah, and it's not only the off, but it's also the Odin from EU, who's holding it now towards that catwalk. They just don't worry about the money. It's free, right? It's free credits. You just got to do something to get it. Not going to miss this time, though. Cryo moves down. Jeez. First blood, 400 thieves. And you see already the rotate coming back from crew. A 2-1-2 set up to default to work that map and realizing that they lost mid control, they lost cat control. It's up to the Hail Mary hit inside this B side. Al to look up first. Fragment being thrown on the defensive side just to hold him back for a bit. And this is gonna render things quite difficult. Pop flash with a recon, no pings to allow wall banks to happen, but somehow, Kesset still gets a kill inside the smoke. Melzer swings that onto Asuna as Busio's now holding with that Guardian in that. Bonus round that turned into a gun round that turned into a force buy for 100 Thieves <laughs> will potentially be converted into an eco round on the next because Crude's looking pretty good on his pulse line. Boom, and do they grab the op? I don't even know if they will. I think Kesnit just wants to keep moving fast and make one to another member. But I think 100 Thieves was confident in the Odin, confident in the pressure they had. They split the site very horizontal like this, right? So it gave the bottom of the site, if you're looking at the minimap on that line, to the side of crew, top of the site to 100 Thieves, and Kesnit was able to set up and find the Odin spam. Easy, that just starts to dwindle the site, and you got it after losing that member in B main. So very nicely done by crew to put the pressure on here coming out of that tech pause. Boom, and they grab it. Bang's gonna keep it safe. Hold it close to the chest. Silver lining. All right. Silver lining here as an op could be salvage for Quayo, and the economy's still pretty okay where they can get these small shields, but it's definitely gonna be off the back again of this first blood shot out by Quayo with the operator, using him towards that mid take. But for the rest, it looks so good on how they just smothered inside that site. And they got lucky for sure for crew to get that smoke kill back towards that spawn and that really opened things up for crew to move in oh we're attempting it the push out oh melzer punishment onto cryo started with a tp on the top to avoid line of sight from mid heard the walk out on catwalk just went for the spray inside that smoke Melzer, some of these rounds just absolutely electric when tested. Think of just Icebox at the end of B. Really able to clean up a situation when it's put, uh, put in front of him. Now, a rotate back. EU tries hand the same spot. And he'll go ahead and hold hands with Cryo. And it has to come down to these risky plays. You're trying to bring the situation back into your favor. Who still couldn't? Capitalize onto a headshot as the cross came in from crew. Four players now running across. Austin now finding a timing, but he lost his team in the process. Still drops this play. 35 seconds left into the round. And he's just going to run that clock down for a bit, allowing his opponents to move inside the site and stay stuck within. Beautiful knife being thrown towards the B main, realizing now there's not going to be any elite lurks coming out. Potentially thinking now all three players from crew or engage and now stack inside B. Little disruption. Paranoia out. Shy avoids it. That's beautiful in the end for crew. Okay, that is the quintessential crew round. The first two kills were dry peaks from tiles on the cat, right? Or I think Melzer was top mid and then we had one from tiles. Yeah, so up, oh, okay, he does want another dry peak towards tiles, kill towards both. Like, it is no joke when we say crew just peaks you. You have to be ready for it because it's a pace setting round right there as they bring another one in their favor. That was very nice. It was also a good read as well and a call coming out from crew because many rounds we've seen Cryo just set up towards that staircase and look down towards that link. So Cryo thought there was not going to be anybody else moving right. up towards top mid, so that TP across was just a good read coming out from Melzer to punish that as well. 
Nice variation, and you can already tell here, look at the different position that you currently have. But yeah, of course, albeit a equal out from 100 Thieves, but they're not adding that same pressure into middle yeah. anymore. And now it's cruise pressure to mid. They have everybody here, but still lurk towards A. A little touch on EU. Whoa, sliver of health as he limps away. You're gonna have to be on point with the Sheriff. Back towards Logs. Smoke now being thrown. Paranoia for them to peek out. That's Busio that does get that backstab. Shock Dart, huge damage onto Heat. Down to 88, it's a high-low in that area. Also, MTA is there. The lurk from behind, the timing's good. Not good enough. It's off. The two players fell down towards that B-side. Crow couldn't get the trade-off. And with the door closing, at least Austin is gonna get one pick. Oh, some unnecessary kills coming in here for sure. Seconds. Once 100 Thieves creates the chaos. I don't know if Austin will be able to do that much more damage, but that got real awkward for a second for a crew getting pinched between both sides. They adapted though, figured out what they needed to do. And hopefully lose no more members as they finalize this round. That's on you. That's one. <laughs> Going back and forth here, playing Curse Tag. Hob Flash, though, an opportunity oh, to pick up a weapon. That hot blinded both players. <laughs> but MTA was ready for it towards the end. All right. It, crew moving around the map very confident. I think that's one of their biggest advantages right now. For their tiles, they take out mid very easily. They move up from mid very easily. And they're getting these situations in their favor. Albeit a low buy there, they were very confident in their push towards mid. Let's see how they run the map when we have guns on the side of 100 Ds. Okay, we're gonna, full line. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have that op coming out now for Cryo once again. Same spot too. We're gonna try to rinse and repeat with this. Oh my God! <laughs> Man's having a bad day. When we said it, they're not afraid to fight Vandal against Op. <laughs> what a drive by by Shy. Pop Flash though, Bank drops inside the site. He does have support from two other players. Pop Flash coming out from Asuna. A one for one trade though, as we have three players this time. Big Paranoia and a recon, and it goes back and forth. A fight inside the smoke. EU closes it out for 100 Thieves. What was, what's so important about Tree at that moment? Going into sight, it looked like they had so much control. They had already pushed through, but everybody wanted to backpedal. Make sure that tree was clear when the spike was down over towards A. Archway. And EU just has a field day as they bunch up. And what an opening shot, too. To lose this round, to lose Crazy. it like this, too. They got swarmed by EU. Whoop. Thank you very much. Yeah, unfortunate to lose that one. So Krug. Start off hot, still fall away on that to bring us back to 3-3 three, three here. Mid control seems to be their priority for the moment as they work Cat and towards that alarm bot again. Right now for 100 Thieves, there's so many plays that it has to be one player going for sprays and then multi-kills on their side. They can't continue to play with this op trying to peek yeah. dry into these, into these lanes because it's getting punished now since they started investing in this operator. Crowd not getting the same value as he did before. And look what destroying the alarm bot has done. It's taken it's taken EU off cat and moved both members outside of sight. Bang's now trying to creep back in to Jenny. But this rotation just from destroying that alarm bot, it's exactly what crew Ron it wanted, getting 100 Thieves to move. Getting ready for a pod flash to peek here into the tree. Asuna has a fragment to work with to try to push them back. Should he get any contact? Owl drone and stats being used, and then the Hunter's Fury coming out on the defensive side. It actually bangs on the two. EU continuing to go to work. Arsenal as well to hold that tree. It's all up to one. It's Kesnit against the world. There's that first headshot to Arsenal at least. But it's going to be so difficult for him to take that round back in his hands. 100 Thieves are back in the lead. So good. EU's positioning puts him at a high advantage to use Sova Ultimate from back towards spawn as he's just watching because the alarm bot went down. So he's playing a deeper position to make sure that doesn't have any him. problems heading into market. And man, did it pay off. Very nice fragment from Asuna as well. It landed perfectly to deny the positioning right in front of the archway. And a huge cleanup from the ultimate from EU. That was, that was just clean protocol from across the map. Stuff, stuff you like to see from any team. Swamp grenade. Operator still up in Bladestorm is ready now. 
And 100 Thieves are changing position now, this time putting Austin on towards this left side, anticipating the lockdown to be used by crew towards B. So get knife, no come in. And even with the knife, it actually did get that ping on to Shy. So they have to reset here for crew. Pings all the way back through spawn as they got little A main control. And they're gonna use that to fly into the site. I mean, whoever goes switch is gonna be worse for wear here on those, on those mollies, but it's been the dash to the right side with Melzer and Kesnit trying to get to that brown box before they head to dice here. And Bang is actually not on A this time. Yeah, he was playing towards his B side so he could smoke out the turret. But this time around now, the commitment for crew inside this A site. There's no Bang, but there's at least Bustio for the first kill that round. Traded out by MTA. As a recon dart does get the ping out, there is the lockdown being used. A little bit too late to throw the knife out from Asa to deny that lockdown to be used. Pop flashes now. It seems as though 100 Thieves want to fight for this. There's a gap towards the top to fight from heaven. And he is just waiting for the dice. But the kills are going in favor of 100 Thieves. All of them in favor of 100 Thieves, as a matter of fact. And all of them heaven. Just soaring down into the site. That was crazy. It was like a family photo as crew looked up there to see what they could fight. And they just saw everybody waving at them from the side of 100 Thieves. Not a retake you usually see from a team. They're usually pinching from both sides or getting something going on. But yeah, that works out perfectly fine for 100 Thieves. Really nice job here getting around the lockdown as well. Yeah. They know there was a lot of peeking going on by crew at those last moments. Nobody knew who was actually watching heaven. So it's like everybody tried to peek their head out for a second and got it torn off. Three rounds in a row now. Seems to be going back and forth in that form. Just the hit. They might have actually gotten themselves picked up on that. It looks like Kesnit's good, so no, sir. Just the hit on to Melzer. Towards A, still the operator, and a lockdown to be used for the side of 100 Thieves to slow this one down. And one of the first rounds, we really see crew putting all their eggs in one basket for a site. There's a paranoia being thrown on range. The updraft to try to dodge it, and he does so. Now swinging out. Just got pinged out, but no kills on the op. At least a lore apply coming out from crew allows for them to pick up two kills and move inside this A site. A battle across as MTA somehow gives his position by closing the door with the stinger spray. Easy pick coming out, spike down, wasting down the clock, allowing now 100 Thieves to set up with this lockdown. There it is. There's no paranoia, no flashes. Crew can't really fight into the door side of tree to deny that ult. So they have to play all the way towards wine. Look at the pinch coming through as well from Asuna. And all they gotta do is wait this out. There is that one, there is that. Mm, spray transfer didn't really connect, but at least EU is there. EU gets it. A nice cleanup over towards the A site. And that was 100 Thieves honestly just putting up that defense where they have to make sure there's no flank and they can easily focus forward onto the site. It doesn't seem like crew was getting a lot of the lurks to work. So I think Bustio at this point is letting everybody know, fight what you're seeing. We really don't have to wait for the lurk. It's already coming from that person at B or whoever is that rotator watching it. And that's given them a lot of strength behind each other and anchoring. We'll see if they can stop anybody on the way into sight here. Back side. What's Cryo doing back there? Yeah, I'm trying to wonder. Jumping around. Is there a ledge that he could jump up there to look down towards mid? Nope. He looked at it early though. He looked at it early, hasn't seen anything. I mean, I'd love to see it. <laughs> what he was doing out there towards the spawn, but at least has that line of sight towards the back of M3, back into fridge. And for a crew, they don't know any information either. Yeah. They all defaulted towards the spawn, now just grouping up for potentially another Hail Mary. Maybe just chilling for a market, zero point. Anything that would be thrown and give away his detection or his position because they want that off to be unknown until it takes a shot. Slowly getting the smoke out. Cryo has position on this online, ready for the shot. Dash activated, hit by the paranoia, goes for a lucky shot, and it delivers. And again, then on to heat back into the site. A beautiful ping out the recon from EU. It's looking to be potentially a flawless. It's not, but a round still comes in. 400 thieves. Bye-bye from Cryo on that round. Played it smart, hid the operator from crew. 
And it surprised the hell out of them as they tried to get into that B site one after the other. So they, the crew have now gone from trying a full A. There you go. There it is. He was looking for that TP. Oh, spot he's looking Melzer. for Melzer. Exactly. He's like, I want revenge right now. <laughs> so very cool to see. And also getting that up online so they can use it effectively. It seems like it's been falling to the wayside a few too many times for 100 Thieves and almost looks like a scary buy sometimes because it'd have to be for the retake. But that was not the case. Let's see if Cryo can make it the same thing here as we move into round 11. Spikes down, so this is, oh, that was the timing they, they didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> At least this is a perfect 3-2-1 swing. There you go, showing yeah. the, the barrel of that uh, share at first and then went for the double swing, although Cryo still is able to get that pick. There. Heat inserted up towards Pizza. Double nanos now with not really much to utility. These are going to be popped now that once Cryo gets yeah. information or contact towards B main. Oh. Yeah. It's so neat how they actually get behind the smoke of Melzer towards A there. Mel, like we said, with them and TPing into that, trying to play a little bit of a fake out. As 100 Thieves reset in A, unsure of what crew is doing. Crew are going to take some big space here. Uh, he can do so much damage this round. It's up to the team, though. It's up for crew on the right side of the map. So make, make that noise for Heat. 30 seconds left. Turret down, two to watch inside that smoke so they can try to cross over. All eggs in the basket right now to move inside the A side to at least oh try to get a plant down. The insert, the late lurk. All right, we got a couple of kills here across the map. Gets him. A site's open for a plant. Somehow this could be converted back for crew. Smoke up and a jump up. Recon, and that oh. might initiate the spray. There's that first and a spray transfer on the other. The thrifty converted black crew. When you least expect it. Last round in the half. Beautifully encroaching in middle, even losing MTA. They're still able to find a way around this because that positioning, the movement back towards A, and the fact that crew keeps flexing a little bit of potential towards mid. It seems to pay off with a, a kill or the positioning that allows easy sight takes for crew here. Easy read of the map and their macro. The next one's gonna be a B hit here. It's 100 Thieves are kind of focusing the right side. Null command out. The zero point tries to counter. They're all suppressed, can't move in right now for crew. Just waiting for the Null command to stop here. Oh, the dash in right in the face of Austin who gets that kill. Cryo once again under heavy attack, does get the kill. This man is unstoppable when he heats up. Once again, blocks the opportunity of crew to move inside this B site. You hear the TP out towards A, trying to at least close the gap. Everybody's separated though for crew. And Melzer is trying to walk in. And the sp Spike needs to take the A train to get over here. This is late, but crew obviously locked down the site with Melzer. He, can he stay alive though? Because he still has to kind of put up a fight and give him a reason to not want to enter back into sight. You can see EU and Cryo still very worried. It could be towards the other side, but they sent EU a little early here as they know it's A now. 3v4 on this round. 100 Thieves coming back in. Perfect. Swing out for a trade, it's a wide swing, but still very dangerous for the retake for the Thieves. Cryo has the operator still. No weapons around for an upgrade yet. He's just trying to look at the line at sight down towards the A main until the smoke comes up. Also potentially winning here for a recon dart if they still have it, if not the paranoia. And it's the paranoia instead towards Jenny. But Shy is holding it down towards the jump up boxes. Lockdown being initiated out. MTH just waiting around the corner, but misses the timing. Lockdown now broken. MTH traded out with the up. This There's that tap on that spike. Cryo's looking to bring it halfway. He has to. There's no time. And Shy is just waiting it out. What the hell? A shot for Cryo, but Shy is going to win the round for crew. Not Shy at all on that one, knowing exactly what he needed to do and calls the bluff. Ooh, that's kind of wild. At this what a play the at the end. I thought it was almost a mistake to throw down the lockdown just in the front of the site. Dip it under hell a little bit more, and then they're forced to really play for it, but it doesn't matter. Semantics in the round, the way they play the last part, even after Cryo starts putting up these round or numbers at the end.
left. It comes down to Shy making it a 7-5. Cruz stepping up right now, warming up in the last two rounds, bringing it close right now into the second half. There's only one more half in the series to see who will book that fourth spot the champs. And this will resume after the next side. To see if they could close out this series, but Crew again just mentioning what happened before the half. They salvaged the last two rounds looking very good in disadvantaged positions. And it wasn't on superstar players like Mel, uh, sorry, uh, as Kesnit. It was MTA, the rookie, coming in, playing with Shy and stepping up when it matters. And keeping the dream alive for Crew to potentially get this victory against 100 Thieves. I'm gonna spend so quiet. I didn't even think the walls dropped yet. We're just seeing everybody waiting. But no, they have. We're already almost down to a minute in the round. I don't know if anybody's even seen each other. There's only they a knife are, that did. Yeah, very patient play. Just to be able to read the map by that knife so far. And I don't know if crew are going to like the way they're going, but they have chosen the wrong site here. And 100 Thieves are going to play it slow. But this is kind of what play, I think plagued 100 Thieves and brought Zix into a first time out is that in these rounds, they just weren't confident that what they had set up was right, and they kept being timid about it. Let's see if they just collapse on the site here. Yeah. It's interesting. Here we go. Played off the turret just to get the contact towards B main, but yeah. then for the rest, they, they're all rotated out the stack towards A. And I think, if not mistaken, that was the B door that was closed. So it really doesn't give it an opportunity for crew to rotate back and split Spike back planted. in. So all of them were going to have to flood back towards the spawn. Knife being thrown towards the back of the side on the defensive side doesn't hit anybody yet. Kesnet with the dash, hit by the paranoia. Dashing away right now as Cryo's holding the site with the rest of his teammates. There's that late lurk coming out from Bustio. Kesnet with the first blood though onto Boosty. Bang with the right clicks. You? His teammates are falling down. Another one in his favor, picks up the ghost. It's a two versus three. He's on the last player standing here. Shy flanks him from behind. Crew with the pistol. A chance to tie up the game as they will play. They're gun round in the anti-eco. Shy doing such a good job staying alive on that one. We were saying, okay, everybody's rotating off of this. B hit's gonna be pretty tough. Shy backs up just enough as one of the final ones standing on the round as the full retake comes in. Healthy from the side of crew here in Kesnet. Man, with that sheriff on pistol is so deadly. And the rest of the team absolutely collapsing. Right on to 100 Thieves. All right. Next round, you see a scores up there. Asuna fragging out. Melzer on the other side, trying to put up some numbers here. Spikes down for a second round under Thieves Strat. So they're really looking to sell something here, get some orbs and work the map before they find a site. If the crew could use this advantage to push up and even gain some of their, uh, gain some ground here. Now they have that mid prior and tiles priority. So this is going to make whoever's playing Sight very happy. <laughs> Triple walkout too. Jump oh. spot and flex coming out from Kizan are kind of nice. Last player standing. Mang once again so oh. great shots coming out from Heat. Three oh. bulldog kills and now we've tied up the game just as expected. It's a quick Guardian snap coming in from uh, Kesnet there. Guardians passed off. Operator coming in on that bonus. Oh. Oh. Cleans up again. Man. All playing together too. Not wanting to get caught by a weird shotgun or shorty here on shore. On that low buy round from 100 Thieves. You're gonna get a gear pause. I'm telling you right now. Tech pause coming in. So we're gonna get that and hopefully resolve it. Front play? No, just Molly's being set up. They're gonna leave this up to crew. Kaznit's gonna get a, look, get a peek on forward B here. No turret? Oh, they do have the turret set up. Okay, just couldn't hear it. It's a glass cannon off as well. Very similar to what Pearl was doing in that for on that first half, rather. Although, again, remember when they were invested quite early into the op on the defensive side for 100 Thieves, Pearl got punished like, what, two or three rounds in a yeah. row. Cat was not where he wanted to be walking for most of those rounds. Oh, I like this. Look at that. You do have the pain coming out. There you go. It was a main switch. Get hit by the Owl Drone, allowing Kesset to walk back up, get the kill with the Operator, and give the first blood and an advantage for Groot. Just hit Cryo, too, or at least it was a shot from before. They're going to keep moving on this. I love the setup that the crew actually did to start, too. We saw Molly being thrown by Shy. 
to kind of just alert the Killjoy was there, and they still tried to get the off. They're setting up so many potential situations to get these kills on 100 Thieves as they try to enter the site. And already, they've got back into Anchor A as they're trying to put themselves back into a position here for a post plant. It's a little dangerous, though. Yeah, that's it. Crazy. They actually moved the spike in that area, and that's a spike down. I have the spike. Thankfully, though, Bang was able to trade it out, pick up the spike, and now could regroup with the other two players who are trying to find openings on these lurks. Off shot miss, very rare shot missed by Kesdin. A second opportunity, but it's a Nano Storm that pushes him out. There's only 13 seconds left on the clock. That's a beautiful paranoia. Trying to jump across, trying to get the plant. Now with seven seconds left, it seems for crew, they don't want to flood in and deny that plant. They want to play the teamwork. They have one flash to work with on the side of Heat and a ninth to attempt a retake. Pings in the back. They actually just cleared a boathouse. They were like, wait a minute, we haven't done this. It could be tricky. It's all on these four members now of crew to do drop into sight. At least one smoke was thrown just before we got hit by the knife. That's three players left, but the flash is still available. There is that bang, but it's way too high. They should be ready for this. It's a one for one. There's bang and Busto going to work. Heat is now alone, and Heat finally falls with the rest. Very well played by 100 Thieves there. What a nice back and forth and slowing down the map to finally favor themselves. It seems like it's only let Crew get into position in these situations. But Crew does not have the read this time. MTA does not know what Bustio wants here and where the team wants to go throughout these rounds. And we see it on that one. Very, very nicely done. And now they realize they take the op out. They have a little bit less they have to deal with. See where these setups go. Placing Swarm Grenade. Destroy for the quick util outside. Archway. And ready for it. Yeah. Trying to break that cage of utility. Elysia gives the information right now for the Thieves that they're playing a forward position for crew. So look at the pivot back for 100 Thieves. Back towards mid control. A smoke for M3. Owl Jones to clear out the alarm bot, but there's still a watchtower being made here to look down towards a catwalk push from Asuna. Quick play Feeling towards in. mid, a little ruse towards cap. They have to clear out A main though. They just heard a teleport towards wine. It's gonna be big for Melzer and Bang to have this 1v1. Who's hiding inside that smoke? Paranoia being thrown out though. That nullifies the knife that got information on the side of crew. Stinger is pretty good so far though. Advantage coming out for crew. Big paranoia. Heat trying to hold out. Out off angle towards the back of the dice. Asuna could not get more Spike than one. Down A. EU in a one versus three. Jump spot. Swing out, aims towards the air. There's that first and second, and there's still 30 seconds. Again? Although the spike is down towards the site, up against Shy. A one way smoke being thrown, but it wasn't spotted here by EU. Recon dart available, 20 seconds left. Shy playing out in the open, and is just watching that jump up inside the generator. EU's looking up, swings back, the 3K oh into God. Red Bull clutch. Will crew lose here when they have such a huge advantage in terms of players? So good, and EU is feeling it as soon as he hit the shot. He raised his hand and just waved to crew. How you guys doing over there? <laughs> How you guys doing? Absorbing it from the crowd too, as you just saw on your screen. And I thought that was Mauser cleaning it up, being able to take that fight at A main, get the paranoia, slow down sight. But it just, there it is. There it is, thank you. Be here all weekend. <laughs> they might even be here for Seoul if they keep playing like this. All right. We are going to get a timeout coming out of this one. DC as well. He's looking at the crowd too. Just another day. Enough read on what Bustio wants to do with the rest of 100 Thieves. So that's what we're looking for. Can crew keep these extremities on lockdown? At least keep an eye right on here. mid here. Start of the round doesn't matter because nobody's going to be there. But we'll see how they rotate out as we get into round 17. <laughs> A few ultimates to be used across the map. And they're just waiting for these darts for everything to go down. Look how far 100 Thieves is playing back. Exactly. On top of that, the economy is not that great for Crusoe. Mm -hmm. They just want to hold off. They're just trying to see if they could punish players trying to pick up an orb. Bang finds a TP away as the turret got broken. And also, I think it cancels out the opportunity from Crew to salvage that orb on the A side. And with that, once again, off the turret, it's a pivot towards the B site, realizing that it's probably a soft site for crew. The rotate is already here for crew. 
No command now being pulled out. That's a nice guard! Shy though is still up for two kills with the sheriff. It's a 2v2 somehow. Bowser! Lucio's now alone. His position's given away. Camera is up there! This break transfer trying to get the second is right quick! Alpha should have been around once again for crew! That's the point that should have been around for crew. And when it doesn't go your way, you start to wonder. You start to wonder why, where are the holes, where are the mistakes, but you have hardly any time to repair them. Bustio takes the advantage on that one. A big boon here, three round lead for 100 Thieves as they look to sign their ticket to Seoul. The server lining is all for crew to keep the fight alive here is that they have a gun round. They did all of this in a thrifty and have also worked the economy Under down for Thieves. Thieves has a dash over from Cryo with a flag! What a play coming out for the Thieves to overtake this B-site! So quick, so confident right now. Leveling up round by round here. The second half of Ascend, the third and final map on this series. Lucio plants. Three members of crew look like they're going to save here and get themselves some uh, opportunity for next round. I was just about to mention that not only the silver lining was the damage done by crew with the lower buy, they also worked down the economy. I mean, look at what 100 Thieves has at that point. Yeah. They probably would have had like a half shield, lower buy, an opportunity to come back. But a beautiful play that was done. Another nerdy moment coming out from 100 Thieves that allows Cryo to dash over the shed and get those two picks off the Hunter Suri, off the Flash. And an easy round in the end for 100 Thieves in the post plant. And this isn't even coming off a timeout. This is ready for the strat, planning it for rounds, yeah. and just the call that they wanted to make, right? This isn't a, a Zix had to get in their ear for anything. This is a practice one for sure. Practice 100 Thieves ready to pull that out when necessary. And man, it was fast and clean. So we have crew. What can they do to rebuttal now? Because we have to look at from their side, from defense. They're falling behind. They have the lockdown. They have the null command. Let's see this play one more time because it deserves it. I'm not going to talk over it. <laughs> As I did. Um, and they need to at least have more than just what's in the site to start, right? Almost playing back in the site if they do realize the team is coming. New Melzer tries to get that forward position, that's perfect, but now they have to react. They still leave Heat in there by himself. So the Null Command's gonna be able to come out after this. I think this, this is actually good timing for what crew can do to stop this. Just a quick push coming out this time around. There's a late lurk coming out from Cryo as well. You hear the Null Command out from Austin at the same time as Kesdit has no choice but to dash away. Oh, sorry, it's a Null Command out by Heat. As Cryo's the one here that's being suppressed towards the tree, dinked. As he's forced to fall back, and as he does, MTA catches him. This will now force 100 Thieves to push in and fight towards main. There's that swing from Bang at the back of Jenny, but he's low on HP. Smoke to come out, plays inside of it, and they're trying to fight back against the lockdown, placed down by Shy on crew. No plant coming through yet. They might even fall back and reset and go for a second wave. There's that swing on the other side, though, and MTA gets a third in the round. One more time, it's EU in a clutch situation. It's crazy. I feel like in parentheses, his name is Hiko. 30 seconds have, left. Wait, they just smoked it up, so he just pick it up. Will he for, Will he want to fall back into this? No, he's going to go go look for a timing to fight. Smoke comes out. Easy kill for MTA. Four in the round. Crazy. For the newcomer of the roster. In the Enemy roster school. of crew, rather. Eyes up. Wild stuff there. Really, really well played. And it was. Difficult for 100 Thieves to hold on that, trying to stay in so much after post. And Crew doing a great job of being able to swing back even harder. I, to be honest, with the momentum 100 Thieves had, I, this round I did not see light at the end of the tunnel there for Crew, but they persevere. They have a Hunter's Fury as they come into this next one. And they're going to try to get forward positioning a little bit on tree. Oh, they just run through. Look by Kesnet towards mid. They finally put somebody back online there. And it looks like it's one of the rounds the 100 Thieves are going to try to toy with that utility too and just get a little bit of movement. 
crew are doing these fact-finding missions in the beginning of the round. It seems like 100 Thieves stays all the way back. We just had two members of crew in and out of B main, not seeing much, so that, yeah, they can go back to setting up. But I, I feel like that's benefiting 100 Thieves so much that they're just taking a little bit more time to get here in B main or get to mid. And now they're going to hit. Recon flash as well, just to make sure that there's nobody towards the switch. There's a Hunter's Fury activated on the defensive side. There's that first ping as one was trying to grab an orb. First blood kill for Kesdit, and that's the late lurk denied. No split coming through from 100 Thieves. All grouped up now with the last four players towards B main. Activation running through towards the lane. Shy's gonna have to hold it back inside the side alone as the rest of his team is still fighting back towards the spawn. The right click denied. Shy gets the pick. And now it's a TP down towards the ground as Asuna gets that pick. To answer right back, the plant comes through. EU holding towards the logs. Knife now. Don't think has spotted him. But the nano will. Fragment out, pushes him out. And that's a beautiful spray by MTA. Two players left alive now for 100 Thieves within this round. Make that only one. And MTA in the last two rounds, that's four, what, seven kills that he's done. Yeah, he's crushing in these last few rounds. And you know what? When the IGL's getting that many frags, it makes the calls that more confident, too, when you're getting into the site. And that's exactly what crew needs right now. Great retaliation. That's such a big pickup from Shy to be able to get the Blade Storm out of the site, especially Cryo out of the site immediately and the swing back in. Look how pumped up Crew is now as they're coming back into it two rounds away and Zix. That is for Crew versus 100 Thieves. You saw hesitation on what we wanted to buy here. Judges, Bucky's, but it's going to be Stingers instead. Stingers on the attack. Or Stingers in general, though, did work out for 100 Thieves. Yeah, they did. Earlier on in the series. As a knife does get information to start off, though. That was a knife thrown by Heat. Pings out two players. So we're thinking about this split out from 100 Thieves. Paranoia out. That's Heat. But Kesdit, unaffected by anything. Two easy kills coming out in his favor. And that's two key players out of the puzzle. 400 Thieves. That's EU and Cryo down. Bustio in a scary spot here, trying to rethink a situation, maybe find one kill with the door to his back. Kesnitz ready. They double peek this? Could yeah. Be the swing. Most likely here. Grouping up slowly, especially with Asuna with this stinger only. Double tag on that knife, too. Oh, it's a solo one instead, but yeah. we'll take that fight. Oh. Asuna wants that gun. <laughs> He's almost crept in there, but you gotta be careful. He does have the spike. He can't go too far. Alarm by now towards the tree. 30 seconds left. I mean, they're watching everything here for crew. Yeah, it's, it's complete defensive lockdown left. here by crew. It is going to take a miracle for 100 Thieves to get through into the site. Shy's going to push out here. Could be a, a, a delivered uh, vandal. So interesting. Although it does no. work out. Shy does get that pick. That's a spike down. Bango getting a dick. That's three kills. It's a one for one. MTA versus Bang. Spike picked up. TP back towards the A site. Seven seconds. And will try to stick the plant. Has to. Vandal now picked up instead of the Odin for MTA. Shockdart now lands right at the feet of Bang. Down to 15 HP. Bulldog in his hands. There's that shot. Second shock dart. Dodge cannot dodge it. The radius is good enough for the kill. And crew will not make the lead of 100 Thieves and cut it down by one. MTA just doesn't miss right now. So many rounds because of this guy right here is the reason Crew is still in this series, one point away from tying it up. Like we said, the calls were gonna be coming in confident after the shots and so is the utility. Man, Crew has to do something though to stave off stuff like that. To stave off 100 Thieves coming up with instant multi-kills as they adapt to the pressure of the situation. One of these times, 100 Thieves is going to get more. And they're going to run away with the round. Crew does not have that opportunity. These Silvas are working overtime right now. Yeah, for they are. Both EU and MTA. And potentially, the series in itself could see some overtime as it is now 11 to 10 for 100 Thieves. You see the cautious play coming out once again on the attack side. The respect given here to crew. The jump peak and the TP back does see Melzer in the front. Four towards A. 
I was wondering if they if they would bring up that operator again on the side of Cruz defense. And I wonder if 100 Thieves are going to try to run into that. No, they just leave bang. They just play it for the noise. Okay, looks like we're going to fall Placing back here and potentially put EU on the Aldrome to fake the yes. core pickup from Asna over towards the B site. Will this work out in their favor, especially after this Nano Swarm was thrown here by Bustio? The spot has been forfeited. You hear the Owl Drone, you see it on that radar. A TP coming out on top of that to go in the back of the site. It's canceled out. The jig is up. 30 seconds left. Nobody moves out here for a crew. They still have a stronghold inside the A site. And that's Melzer with the first blood. And they're going to walk right into a trap. 400 Thieves. And you no choice but to save. And crew have done it. They're able to tie up this game 11 to 11. And check it out, the round that crew plays almost Ten everybody in left. sight, they don't throw the smoke that goes here between Jenny and Dicebox. So every angle is open that they need to trade on, that they need to get back in. And I think 100 Thieves was expecting a little bit more cover in the middle of that site. 11 to 11, crew bring it back. I say from the brink, it was almost there, but yeah, it, it was close. Four rounds in a row for both teams. That's what it's taken here on Ascent to get us to even. The U-Till's too good. You see the assist coming out from the recon. From yeah, that's so, again, so, so clean. Unsung hero for that round, but definitely a hero in the previous rounds. And you're starting to see here, 100 Thieves scrambling to find a way to work this map on their attack side. And Dangerous moments now for 100 Thieves. All right. Wall drops, we can see the instant knights are gonna go out. I don't think we get too much action. The so Odin's ready for the spam MTA, just a little closer as turret gets touched. Oh no, he's actually ready for the dart. Interesting. I'll just follow up with spam. Doesn't have to worry until the turret takes any contact, anywho. So, they chill, and so does 100 Thieves. Like, this is one of their slowest rounds. And this is what they're looking for. That's even good info for them, right? Bustio's but happy to at least see a dart, and they start to move forward knowing that that bit of coverage is a window that's gone now. The thing is right now is that Shy is staying inside this B site, and you're leaning towards B with 100 Thieves with potentially using this Null Command to overtake the site, and all that utility is going to be gone. Yep. But at the mid mark, they're just trying to wait for the next cycle to see what information they could get, because a recon dart from crew got first contact and got initiation that there's at least one player outside of B main. Second knife now being thrown, avoided by Bustio. And that might be the call. You see them all already running back here towards B main. Ooh, pop flash over. This is gonna be Leaving up to Cryo. 30 seconds left. Still, they give him the space. This is gonna get tricky for Shy though. No no command. They're just what the? It's Where's easy here for Shy. That ledge is not checked. Kryo's able to answer back. Advantage out for Crew still. Plat down for Bustio. But the weapons are still quite strong for Crew for the retake. That's where they've been so powerful, right? How do miss in. the tag, though? This gives an opportunity for them to save up for a bit. ADS from Cryo. Headshot there onto Melzer. Pop flash, no good timing. An opportunity here for 100 Thieves once again to hold back their defensive line. Cryo at low HP has gotten dropped by Heat. Double hold towards the back of the site. Odin moving through. That's FTE again. You? And it's EU again. Oh, you. That's a 1v1 now. Recon out. Kesson pushing forward. The pain for Kesson gets the kill. The swing up and the final blow to get crew at that series point this is the one where they fall at that point shy on his feet what a kill Kaznik comes up huge the operator's ready for the next round he knows what it means and now they have 100 thieves sweating crew ready to head to seoul with one more round and man it comes down to eu again and that's the round he doesn't get. So close. So well played by both teams, both yeah. players. Somebody's got to win. And now, five in a row for Crew. Can they make it six or do we get over time? If this hits something, they might be able to go for a Hunter's Fury right away. It there's a command and there's a Hunter's Fury. Up the gun. No pings coming out, but at least it gives a chance now for 100 Thieves to go in for a plan. It all comes down to this. For 100 Thieves to try to push us into an overtime. Or if not, it's over and Crew will lock that fourth spot. 
You should not. Listen, not getting ready for the lineup here with the lockdown. There's a Hunter Shuri coming out as well on the defensive side. All of the ults are coming through. First blood out for Hunter Thieves. Lockdown now, they're short on the attack, but everything missed on the defensive side. There's a gap now for crew to be able to move in. Dropping down, tap on the spike. Wow. Lucio got the tail. Let's break through the smoke. This might be it right here. They're sticking on to that spike. Trying to spray the crowd for 